one yeah, game this year. And that's no, be- no, no, let's back up. We're not talking about this year. We're talking about last year. Yeah, I'm talking about when they were three and zero, and he was beating his chest. I don't want to be top chest. No, not at all. Welcome back, man. Welcome you, back to the show. Yeah. Yeah, you see who right there. No, we ain't, we ain't did it yet. <laughs> I'm finna send. I ain't gonna lie, I was gonna just like, like, little like, cliff note. Like, 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 what? That nigga over here smacking like the camera wasn't rolling. Keep that motherfucker rolling. I don't really fuck with Future either, bro. You sound crazy. Nigga. All them 20, you, gotta go. you know what I mean? <laughs> what hey, you talking about? I ain't gonna lie. See, like, see, like that's the thing, different thing, like where like success and you know what money type of thing. Hopefully, bro, this don't turn Drake into like evil Drake. Why not? You know what I'm saying? You know how you, everybody, you know, the Drake everybody love, like, you know, God's playing Drake and you know the Drake we see. But what if this shit turn Drake into some ESTG, bitch. Okay, I'm about to put the op right next to you. Like you know oh, I ain't let my phone in and charge it, bro. Good, good. I know y'all just follow. Yeah, okay, let me see that real quick. I just glance. I'm gonna over there charging. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That'd be a scary sight. That just turned into Drake turned into ESTG. But if y'all like, y'all know y'all could add shit in too. Right? That ain't just like a script. It's just ideas. <laughs> oh shit, hey bro, y'all should have came out to the game last what Friday. Like that? Boy, that nigga started going crazy. I'm still. I want my. I want five reps, bro. I'm gonna lock that shit up, bro. Five. That's it. You need What's five. Up? You gonna lock me up five out of five? Probably three out. Uh, three out of five. One of them gonna be uh, debatable. I feel like you're not in your athletic prime right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what I've no, been, no, no. I've like, been trying to tell him, bro. This ain't even a, a, a guess. It just, it's, it's like riding a bike, though. You know what I'm saying? I want to get, get the move. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, nigga. This ain't no bike, nigga. This a big body fucking Benz, boy. I'm telling you. Get your ass, boy. I'm you telling you. You compare yourself to a big body Benz? The biggest. Because of goddamn Jalen Green? The fuck does Jalen Green have to do with anything? I don't know. I seen a clip of him saying... Big bang man, I used to be dusty. Jalen Green said that? Yeah, you know. Speaking of Jalen Green clip, remember that one where he fucking went viral for that wild shit he did on I ain't that? Bro, I ain't gonna tell you the truth. Think about it, bro. He really ain't he ain't he ain't, he ain't that wild, bro. That shit oh oh this nigga finna say he did some shit like that. No, no, he so ain't that wild, wild bro. Cause okay, at the end of the day, bro. I ain't gonna give a I don't care, bro. That'd be bad, bro. No, I ain't bad, talking about bro. that. I'm talking about the video. You remember how he went viral? Oh, 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 yeah, that was some, that was some weird ass, <laughs> yeah, shit, bro. <laughs> bro, and speaking of Diddy, bro, what the Whoa. fuck is wrong with Diddy Jr., bro? Don't worry, we finna get to it. He tripping, like, bro, he tripping. I ain't gonna, like, I ain't gonna cap, though. Did this sound it straight? I ain't hear it. I refuse to listen to it. I don't listen yeah. to it. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I did. Never. I ain't heard a couple times. The shit kind of sound straight. It just the fact that, like, damn, bro, leave 50 Cent the fuck alone, though. Like, God damn. Nah, niggas gonna die. I ain't gonna tell you the truth. Now, we hey, good? We ready? Hey, that's what he. Hey, they might as well go ahead and rock out like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, the little bit of money daddy got left. You, 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 you. Check, check, check. You. Why you got the mic so far, bro? I ain't touch it. He touched it. Oh yeah, yeah. Bring it to the shade. Okay, yeah. I'm, you know. Yeah, I mean, yelling at him. Cause I have a habit of like just. I'm not yelling at him. I have a habit of like taking over shit. So I was like, nah. Bro, bro. Oh nah, it sounds straight right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, please. Check, check. You good? <laughs> what is going on, y'all, man? It is Too Real For You podcast. Shout out to the strongest, and shout out to our people over at Fargo. I'm with my boy I4 Chapman. And, yeah, y'all see a whole nother guest this week, too. Mm-hmm. Most mm-hmm. We got we got Temple's GOAT. We got the, he, <laughs> he, he he don't like to call himself a gatekeeper. He just be controlling the motion a little bit. Shout out my boy Chap. Man, Chap like came up with that one. Don't even, if you make a big deal about it, you're not going to be able to use it later. So just keep it moving. Dang. You know what I mean? Okay. 
The biggest, you feel me? The biggest, Mr. 813. God you, I, damn. No, I gotta cut you off, though, bro. You can't sit and say this like Tampa, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro. Oh, put some not, respect on that shit, bro. But he, that's like somebody saying, like, oh, you know, we the fourth quarter, you know what I'm saying? The biggest in Melbourne. You're like, whoa, god damn. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, you know, before we're going to do it, we're going to make the energy right now. You know what I'm saying? We can't dumb this shit How about down. this? How about this, Mr. IFO Chapman? Take it over. Okay, boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Show me. Yeah, yeah. No, so, so we got to do it like this, right? So, boom. You see, we got another guest here. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You might not know him, but you know the the, the brand, the face, um, and everything he got going on. Man, we got QC Media. You know what I'm saying? One of the biggest blogs in the whole goddamn uh, country. In the nation. In the, in, in, in the country. In the yeah. nation. You know what I'm saying? It's happening. You know what I'm saying? It's happening. Tell and the reason why it's happening, because Tampa is one of the fastest growing cities in the uh, in the nation. You know what I'm saying? So if, you know, you're in Tampa, and then you're in... Man, y'all pick up what I'm putting down, but you know what's going man, on. Man, everybody give a big round of applause for our boy J-Rod, man. That boy good. That boy yeah. good. That boy good. <laughs> Tell him. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all on, man, for a second. You know what I'm saying? That boy good. I appreciate y'all having me, though, for sure. For sure, man. How you been? How you been? How you been living? Everything been good, man. We living. We having fun. Damn, you know, I grinding. did come up. Damn, you know I didn't stop by what I said. Damn, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, forgot your old name. You know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> but you know, yeah, everything been also, good, man. Can you, know, you know what I'm saying? We'll get to that, man. We'll get to that. <laughs> Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? See, hey, uh, a lot of shit been going on. We, I want to just jump to an update real quick because I'm tired of y'all fucking trolling about it. We finna get. I think Drake won the beef. That's my official declaration. I think Drake won. Kendrick lied. He Drake didn't have a child. I think people need to grow up and understand that we're not gonna sit here and could keep allowing niggas to rap in cursive. But what else? And rap he, with their whole mouth on the water fountain. What did he say Drake did though? What? I don't think the the kid was the. He don't head, he head, don't head. sleep with kids either, bro. Gotcha. I mean, that's a jack. That's a like that's, a real different type of jacket hor- to put on somebody. Though. That's a horrible, you know what I mean. No, that's a horrible. Like that's it's certain things you can't come back from. And, and, the, and the, the fucked up part about it is, no matter what, that's going to follow Drake, regardless, just because of the song. You know what I'm saying? Like Fuck people want to trash ass song. Only niggas on the West Coast listen to that. No, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? You, but the West Coast, the West you. Coast have a big reach. You know what I'm saying? Who you think won? I mean, I got to give it to Kendrick. I'm only going to say that because I feel like he has the biggest he got song. Hit, he got hit with a punch. He got the biggest song that has the biggest impact. I think Drake has the best song. I feel like Family Matters was the best song out of yeah. all of them. Yeah. But. So wait a minute. But. If Drake got the best. He has the best song, but he doesn't have the biggest song. That part. And the biggest song matters. The same thing that happened in this beef with Pusha T. I mean, I feel like he had the best song in that one. I think Duppy Freestyle was the best song. I think niggas gassed the shit out of Pusha T for no reason. But he brought the shock value, and that's what people remember when they think back two, three years ago or whenever the beef was, time flies. But that's what they think about. Yeah. And they say, okay, well, Pusha T won. Drake acknowledged that he feels like Pusha T won. That's why he didn't respond, because he felt like... Drake said that? Yeah. Damn. He said it, you know. I be so, trying to fuck with him, but he, I can't when he do shit like but that. But, you know, at the end of the day, winning or losing the battle doesn't really do anything mm-hmm. for somebody of their stature. You know, like, Drake is at the top of the mountain. He's still going to be at the top of the mountain. Like, and there's nobody in the industry that can replace him musically. So, he going to be all right. Yeah. But, but, I mean, you know, Kendrick got the... He, and it's ironic because he made the bop. He made the song. That's what all of his fans were like. Mm-hmm. Oh, all Drake wants to do is make party records for this records. All oh, oh. and then as soon as Kendrick did it, oh, it's great now. Yeah. Now we now we crip walking in South Africa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I mean, it's it's kind of ironic. It's an oxymoron, but yeah. you know, whatever. You let them have their fun with it. Mm-hmm. And you know, we'll see if Kendrick, you know. He not. He keeps going, dropping he now. Not, I mean, because yeah, we haven't not. seen him drop this many songs. Man, that's not you're going to hear back from Kendrick. Whole... It's going to be from his son's graduation, and they're going to be like, "Wait, oh, his son perform. or Dave Freeze? Freeze? They didn't say it wasn't Dave Freeze. Drop, that's drop, why I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Drop I do cut. <laughs> okay, we got my boy back on. Back yeah, on. Hey, he okay. was trying. He was trying to keep it PG. I still. I got. That's why when I say one, it's like mm. yeah. Honestly, take true. I, I, I take it back. Yeah, no, man. Drake won that shit. See, bro, the reason I why can't... Drake won that shit is Ryan, because bro. it's not over. I just thought about it. like it's not over. <laughs> oh, it's over. It's not over. The reason why it's, it's not over. over because even with different like back like if this person ain't dead, to where he can, Drake. I'm talking about Drake can continue this shit. Like even when now you going hiding, and bro, if this nigga keep on, doing I don't think this, this shit do, goes any further than rap though. No, 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 no. I don't I mean, think so either. Y'all don't think that they already had the big dog conversation that 
is why both of, both sides kind of tweeted that it was over. No, I don't. You don't think so? You don't think Top said on the phone with Drake? You don't think they had a conversation? No, You're out be, of your yeah, mind. That, that should be happening. Y'all are out of your mind. Man, the reason why I, I think is because I was agreeing with you, nigga. Oh, okay, I was just saying. <laughs> he, the only reason why I say I don't believe in, I might be wrong, and I'm cool if I am wrong. I know me. I'm not picking up that. I'm not. Oh yeah, talking yeah. About I thought about that. Yeah, you think? I'm, no, no. Maybe, after after that man accused, after that top, man and his team no, accused you no, of pedophilia, top, yeah, you picking that phone somebody up? Somebody else on Drake. I don't think it was Drake though. I don't think Drake. Yeah, I don't think Drake was talking to him, but I think somebody who was. But that don't. But I. But, but that. No, not, but who's no, to say no, Drake no. ain't sitting there saying, "Yeah, yeah, let him think it's cool." Drop, drop a fifty bag on Lamar for the spot. Yeah, <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying. I don't think Drake want to do that. Man, what, got hey, man, what up. Kendrick got, better not want to do that? Yeah, you are. Nah, Kendrick got some more songs left. Like Kendrick still got like four. That's or five great songs. though, but I don't think those songs are gonna come with any more shock value. You, Drake got Drake got to come with the. I think hey, man, this fuck, fuck fuck Cali. I think the shock value. <laughs> he can't do that. You said fuck nah. Cali. Yeah, that's that. the only thing he can. He's hey. putting his house up for sale in L. A. But he can't do that right now. He hey, but hey, this we should see. You know what? Right now, like when certain shit like that happen, but because then everybody immediately links it to whatever the fuck is going on. No, but this what you should. Maybe the nigga just wanted to he sell should, his house. No, Maybe he's not in Beverly no, no, Hills or he, he, But I think he, he should do the, the fuck Cali shit, right? Type of situation, right? Y'all niggas turned y'all back on me, so I'm finna turn my back on y'all. I don't. Y'all gonna get outraged, like and I'm just gonna go be Drake somewhere like out the country. Do you understand how big thing? of a market California is? Yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta drop it. Nah. I mean, uh, I think, I think if I get what you're saying, and I think you go the route of. Turning your back on the twenty niggas that tried you. I don't know about saying fuck Cali. That's man, too big of a market. All a hey, man. Deshaun Jackson. You got anybody got there with it? Deshaun that, Jackson ain't been right since <laughs> since the Eagles, bro. Like that nigga ain't been doing CTE. fuck about Deshaun. Yeah. I mean, if you know Drake, you know he's gonna hold a grudge with everybody that yeah, yeah, said yeah, yeah. anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The he man did Ja Morant in a song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, he's gonna hold now, a grudge. Ja with Morant everybody. started that though. You know what I mean? He's going to hold a grudge with everybody. Ja, like, ja, he's yeah, not yeah, gonna bear it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, hey, the one thing these niggas better, hey, boy, this shit gonna it takes a long time. Like, Drake gonna, Drake ain't going nowhere. No, nah, I mean. And in and, and, and a lot of different rooms, out of like rooms that y'all niggas ain't gonna never be able to get in. Why so. Because right like I think, well, he from London. They street code different. Don't do that. N yeah, don't do that. Like don't that. do that. Damn, what the fuck? He, he's been in Atlanta since he's, first, he's Atlanta. first grade. Atlanta. He clarified that. So, why do you think it's the answer the question? Cause he's from London, they street code different. Nah, man. Do they even have guns in London? They, they have, have swords and, and knives and stuff like that. I'm not Did you not watch Top Boy? Fences. This nigga's yeah, over here fencing, bro. I'm not never watched Top Boy. Before. I didn't. I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't get into. How do you call yourself a Drake fan if you didn't watch Top Boy? Oh, that's I was getting to the money. I ain't have a chance to yeah, watch. You got to handle your business, bro. You can't go to the next OVO meeting if you don't watch Top Boy. Nah, I can't. I, nigga, I'm co-producer on the show. You know who? Uh, wait. Yeah, anyway, back to the pick aside. I think 21 Savage tripping, though. I think he could pick aside. What? How? How can he? How can he? The money, my city. Who'd you make? Nigga, his city stopped claiming him after them niggas found out he was from London. Man. I promise you go to the blog page and look it up. I ain't got shit to lie about. It's bro, on the internet. Said, you, bro, you said this, my, his city. Like, and, know, I mean, big, and Big Draco Atlanta? run Atlanta, and Big Draco say him. You know. <laughs> it's really simple, though. I mean, he's got a relationship with Metro that goes back Yeah. over a decade. So, mm -hmm. I mean... And we can talk and, about and his I think he, stuff. I think he's made more money with Drake than It's Metro. not about money. That's what's saying. It's money. about the money. That's what's saying. Like, in that's, the music industry, they want money. Drake doesn't live in Atlanta. 21 Savage, for all intents and purposes, still that's fine. does yeah. business These niggas did a whole collab project, and they, they don't live in Atlanta. And that's one thing about Atlanta. At the end of the day, he like, still has turn, to like, have his back time. On, you can't turn your back on Atlanta. Atlanta has a lot of street politics that people don't really talk about and yeah. stuff like that. So, I mean... Yeah, I you're think right. Metro Band. Yeah, I, I did hear about Metro chill. Boomer. He like you I, didn't hear about. No, nah, I heard he like the biggest. <laughs> you didn't hear about Metro. Why but you, you know, like Metro's that? affiliated with other people. That's why you know you don't see Metro taking like speaking up. You see Big Brother. I think because his name is Leland. I mean, it's possible that he might have been a square his entire life. It's exactly possible, what it is. Anybody from the hood that has somebody like that, they know yeah, they got they, Big Brother they, they, that's they going to step up for them. So they protect them. Just like how 21 said, oh, you want to mention his mama's name like it's a game? Like, like, I think, well, that is I think, different. I think Soldier Boy got some. No, got I, some yeah, I think that's a whole different ball game. I think with Soldier Boy in 21 is a whole different ball game than 21 and Drake. Like, that's a whole different. He got to say something about 21 Savage. I mean, he got to say something about Soldier Boy. 
I'm so, talking about like yeah, he has to check Soldier Boy. I think everybody in Atlanta has. I think everybody in the industry got to check Soldier Boy. I think Soldier Boy's a bitch for saying what he said. Yeah, that's crazy. He wild to hell. He said, "Stop talking about that man." He said, "Stop talking about me in your tweets." Yeah, he did. The nigga he said, felt disrespected. The nigga he, said, yeah. "That man mother, said he made beats for Jeezy." Yeah, he like said, "You was making beats for Soldier Boy." Like, he that said, was "Happy yeah. Mother's Day." Hey, but no, nah, but you, said, you, you went one low, thing about this, you know, you can't start. Yeah, you can't start. I'll be honest. Yeah. I didn't. T- I don't. I, here's the thing. Was it? Did he? Did he troll him? Did Metro nah, troll Soldier in the back? That's yes. That's not a troll. That's a diss. I don't think it is. That's not disrespectful. Telling somebody that Man, I was making beats nigga, with Jeezy while you was making beats nigga, with Soldier. I'm getting. I'm getting interviews with goddamn motherfucking goddamn fourth. Listen, you get interviews with fourth quarter. Like, bitch, what the fuck you mean? Nigga Forbes is doing that shit. I took it as disrespect. That's I ain't gonna lie. That's disrespectful. I'm not saying I would have stepped on him and said what Soldier said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but we know Soldier Boy is a D1 crash yeah, out. Yeah. And then he yeah, gonna he do that. Off. And until somebody <laughs> stepped in Soldier, he gonna yeah. crash. Yeah, he is a D1 dope. And ain't nobody yeah. crash. Ain't nobody stepped in Soldier yet. So mm. I don't know. Cause you know, at last nigga who came in house, he's like, one man Charleston White did. Charleston White put that boy up up there. Stop it. Hit that boy with that mace. But that on that's not stepping. Yeah, man. That's I that's female. You, Charleston. That's that's female. You stuff. see what this? You see, I fuck with you. I'm Charleston glad knows, you did that to Charleston. Hey, Charleston I mean, to knows when he come to Tampa, you know what's up, man. If you spray somebody with some mace, all that's female stuff. That's fine. I ain't gonna call. And it wasn't the regular mace. That, you know, he like that with that. He that bear mace. Like, well, slap niggas. I ain't know there was tracks. different types of maces. Well, you know, we don't really spray mace at people, so I mean, we probably wouldn't know that. Yeah, but, yeah. no. Bro, bear, <laughs> bro, bear mace is crazy, bro. <laughs> You've been sprayed by Bear No, but I'm saying I seen from how he sprayed it, like how he hit, how that shit hit the wall. <laughs> it was brown, bro. And it just, yeah, that shit, yeah. wow, that shit like sap. It just spoke N- like this. Nigga sprayed <laughs> resin. He said, he said, I wanna, he said, told the boy hey, I wanna talk to you. He said, I wanna talk to 10 niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know who looked the corniest out of all this beef though? Rick Ross. He tried. He tried to put Rick his Ross name in corny there. as fuck. Bro, what the fuck? How did Ross look corny? How does he not? I'm asking, how does he look corny? You that old jumping in the beef that ain't... Hold on, man, because you can't ask a question and suck your teeth in the middle of the answer. I ain't even get to the comma yet, and you already... You said he could you that old... Go ahead. It, that was, he that old jumping in the beef that ain't got shit to do with him. Point one. Okay. Point two, when Game says something, he ain't want to say shit back to Game. That's valid. But he had a diss track in the hour for Drake. This nigga then came up with four different slogans for Drake and ain't responded not one time to anybody else that ever said something to him. Okay. And let's be real. Rick Ross does not have as much money as Drake. So this whole illusion shit is cool, right? Like, I get it. And I get there's some Florida loyalty for some people. That shit is corny. That shit is corny. And let's not forget, as soon as this nigga's plane allegedly went down, what's the first thing he posted? Drake. Niggas ain't talking about that. Niggas don't want to talk about him reverting back to his old ways. That's all I'm saying. What you got? I mean, you know, when a nigga's talking, you know, I listen. <laughs> I listen. I listen. I'm, like, I, I I'm just saying, bro. But, like, I'm saying like, but I'm saying, but also, too, even in the back and forth, though, Drake wasn't like all the way innocent, like, as to like, damn, why you come talking about me for it? We ain't have no problems. They kind of already. I don't think, part. did Drake diss Ross to start this exchange? I thought I, I thought uh, Ross started that, calling him a white boy and shit. Champagne moments. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Did Drake have anything for Ross? Not in push-ups. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Are you sure? I think mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like he said something. Yeah, I think he, yeah, he did say and something. I think about Rick Ross, Ross just something. took that as an opportunity to the insert Duncan, himself yeah. into something that really didn't have anything to do with him. <laughs> and you know, for about thirty-six hours, he was able to kind of capitalize until he went too far. And try to drop a video, and it's like, all right, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. So yeah. how do you so how we do you apologize by calling another man corny? And you know, you know the details. I'm not apologizing. I think that nigga's corny. I'm not taking shit back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Fuck God that damn. Oh, we nigga, bro. I don't like. I don't like nothing about that nigga, bro. But I'm saying, I'm saying, from what you said, that nigga like, ain't been cool what, since I DJ feel, Khaled jumped off that bridge in that video. The views expressed on this are strictly uh, yeah. For, this for is me. <laughs> this is me. I'm speaking for me. I don't. Ross ain't been cool since. Actually, I lied. At Ross, crazy, Ro- bro. man, let's be real. Yeah, Ross's smoke, best listen. shit. Ross's best shit was who, with who? Chrisette, Michelle, and fucking Drake. 
We not gonna act like Ross. Nah, bro. Bro. I said what I you said. Like, bro, Ross ain't like. A, I like, said bro, what I said. No, like, I ain't saying he ain't like that. I'm just saying. So that's, you said his best shit. Like you just name it to the top of your head. Like Ross don't have records for like, easy five. over twenty years. Name five. Don't not do that. you. Name name five. Dang, you said name five. Name five. Give me five oh. of Rick Ross's biggest records. Okay, I like that. Ashton Martin. That's the fucking song I just said. Bro, you said And you just led off with that. I'm saying his song, best shit and I'm, he lead off with it. I'm saying I can't I can't like the song. Okay, though. what's the other four, man? Because you know yeah, you, you shouldn't have led off with one with Drake on it, but what's the other four? Yeah, I ain't like that's his best shit though. So I was right. You're about to make his point. So was I right? Okay. I mean I can verify, but yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm saying I, I get what you're saying, but I'm saying like that it, his best music is the one like with Drake, like you know what I'm saying? Is it? Name it. I mean, he's got other songs. Dice Pineapples no. was Drake was was Ross's another one of Ross's hits, and who's on it? Wale was on that one. This nigga said Wale. Yeah. Wale did spoken Wale, word. Wale, I mean, I was, was snapped. Call me crazy, you shit. At least you calling on. Uh, feels better. I nigga, mean, Rick Ross has been making start, hits since how push. How about it, this? Nick, push he, it, hustling. He's been making hits yeah, before. For sure. He's got albums that don't even. I can't hold back all these Haitians, nigga. You know, I'm not gonna do Rick Ross like that. I do think he's lower than Plies on the floor of the hierarchy, but I'm not gonna do. I think this nigga's not in the top five. In the Florida hierarchy. Uh, um, okay, who's your top? Yeah, who the fuck you think? Kodak Black. Okay. okay. Plies. Yeah. Trick Daddy. Okay. Ex Tentacion. Man. I said what I said. You're asking me. You're asking me. Mm. This is my. I don't think you can name five. And Uncle times. Luke. All right. What's the next topic, man? I said what I said, bro. This man just said. No, nah, actually, Luke, I take, nah, I take, I take Uncle Luke out, and I put T Pain. You can't take Uncle Luke out. Yes, you I just can. did. No, you cannot. You can. I know you, you can. Will. No, you can't. There's no time. And here's the thing: Uncle even if I can't take before. Uncle Luke out, I can take X out and replace him with motherfucking uh uh uh. What the name I just said? T Pain. With T Pain. Yeah, yeah. But then don't forget about you still got. Pitbull and Flo Rida. I'm and not counting them in a rap. Right. Why not? But they, 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 they sold out. They decided rap wasn't making enough money. They actually tried to rap first. Yes, they sold out. That's, That's the definition sell of selling out. No, no, it's not. If you come in, you would have no. never accepted Pitbull rapping, as a rapper anyway. I with Little John and the East Side Boys, yes, remember, and then yeah. you don't do the numbers that you wanted to do, and then you turn around and remember so that you. So Little John can, sold out. I mean. No. Here's my thing. I, how can I get internationally? Like, Tell me this. And you got to remember, this you is not even rap anymore. No, I'm saying, because I'm, I'm, I remember me and Pitbull, and I was like, legit, I had a little autograph. I was like, like 2003 type of shit. So when he was doing like the whole- This nigga Cuban, had a Pitbull autograph? You know what I'm saying? That's a different one. <laughs> yeah, no, real deal. I got signed on my Channel A's Hawks point. Real deal. Pitbull, what? Nigga, what? I'm about. I was a Lil John fan and all that shit. Nigga, that's Pitbull. Like, you know what I'm saying? So- yeah, Pitbull's not in the top five of the rap. So you just said it. So he stopped rapping. So why am I going right. to count him in the top five rappers? No, no, I ain't saying rappers. I'm talking rap. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about artists. Well, you can do that. We're going to have like Backstreet Boys and all kind of bullshit. So I don't want to do that. Are we talking rappers? rappers? I just named Top them. five rappers from, I mean, top five artists from Miami? Rappers, rappers from, from Miami. Florida. From Florida. Oh, from Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And here's my yeah. thing. What's, what are we dictating hierarchy? I mean, I named my, my five. Yeah. But what are we, like, what, what are we... Whatever you want to, whatever you want Shit. the category Who's to be. Who's your five, then, if Ross is your yeah. top five? Who's yours? Ross might be in my top five. I mean, I, my top three for sure is Trick Daddy, Plies, Kodak. Those are my top three. And then... Where are you putting T-Pain? I'm you not gotta, putting you, him in a rap category. What? I'm saying you gotta add T Pain. No, bro, you're T talking blast an R&B me now, singer. Bro. All right. He sings songs. He's one of the greatest ever to sing songs. That, so this is strictly rapper. Yeah, just rappers. So I mean, I think you can make a case for Rick Ross in the top five rappers of all time in Florida. I mean, you can go because who else you have? You got J T Money. You got Rick Ross. You got Luke. You got. I mean, then you start right. bringing in like new school. I don't think there's a lot of new school rappers that you could say are better than Rick Ross or bigger than Rick Ross, unless we're talking about Rod Wave. Unless That's what I, yeah, I would definitely go. Yeah, I like Rod, Rod Wave, Wave bigger than Luther him. Vandross. Rod, hey, real shit. He made way better music than Luther. I mean, if we call him Rod a rapper, he's definitely top five. He's probably top. Damn, you was in. But I think in my top five, if we count Rod Wave, it's okay. 
It's trick. So flies. how can you add Rod Wave yeah. when you can't add T Pain? Because Rod Wave actually raps. His, his, the genre of his albums are rap. Wait, so you, bro, you, you go, add, wait, hold on. You ain't never heard karaoke by T Pain, bro? I've heard a, a lot of T Pain. I was wild. Come can on, bro. T Pain. That nigga can rap. Bro. I mean, so if you, you want to do that, want that just to kick Rick Ross off the top five, that's fine. Nah, even nah, if you take it, okay, I, I okay, I get your point. I'm not. We're not gonna make it easy to put Ross out. So yeah, exclude T Pain. But you, if you want to put you him putting, in there, you putting Rick Ross over Uncle Luke? Yes. Come on, man. I'm not. I'm not putting Luke. Luke didn't even use words in half of his verses. I'm exactly. Not and look at the, and look at the fucking well, exactly. What look what he did. Yeah, he was a pioneer for all of rap, not just Florida rap. He was a pioneer for all of rap. So we if can, he did for all of rap, people can curse in their music he... because of Uncle Luke. That doesn't make him a top five rapper of all time. Shout I, out I, to Luke. I, I, no, saying, but it's kind of hard, you know, like to take away like certain shit. You know what I'm saying, like. So that's like so. So say you did a top five Orlando, it would have to be who was a pioneer for Orlando. That Hell you no, put Granddaddy right. South in there. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. You know, like, right. But yeah, that's nah. what, you know what I'm saying. Like I'm not doing yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I ain't doing that that's either. That's a different category. I'll give you your flowers for being a pioneer and yeah, setting. No facts, fact, you okay. know. But I'm not finna just lock you into a spot at top five forever. Man, Ross ain't top five. I mean, right, y'all sound crazy. Ross he got is some easy, personal bro. vendetta against Rick I Ross. Don't. Yeah, I don't know what it is, bro. I don't. Like, what it is? Bro? I just, don't like got them wings. Bro, stuff? I think we like, can. What the fuck? He I doesn't like, like that Rick Ross win at Drake, and I respect it. To be honest, no, it's oh, not okay, even that's that. What it I, just, is. I was trying to feel like, damn, where the fuck, like, Ross is. I just think, like, it, it's, like, I just think. You don't want to go to the car show? It's corny. I never. I don't. I don't yeah, do car shows. Yeah, I'm with him on that. I'm not going to it. If a group no, of no, niggas, no, no, no. I've always it's had an opinion joke. about car shows that's probably not similar to other people's. I think that shit's just the reason for niggas to all link up. Niggas ain't going out there to do nothing with them cars. I mean, what's wrong with that, bro? What's wrong with a little fellowship between you know all the hoods? I bond boys? with you over the phone because we both getting some money. You see I the mean, difference? But they all be getting money though. Like they yeah. all niggas. They, they they it's, it's, a, it's a big network. I'm not saying they don't get money. I'm just saying. Let me backtrack because it's not even about the money. Yeah, it's not about the money. I don't know. It's not about the money. Like, damn, like, what the fuck? Do you weird. niggas got car shows and I don't know about it? Nah, no. Man, so on, everybody relax. It's Florida culture, though. You're kind of disrespecting the culture right now. It's cool, though, man. I didn't. Maybe let me say this. And I know where Chap's gonna go with it. He's gonna try to be funny and shit, and I'm gonna have to correct him. So I'm already ready for the for the rebuttal. Don't, don't, hey, hey, where I'm hey, from, I, I just I just set you up with it. To be honest, bro, I, yeah, and, and I don't know if we can sit here and say <laughs> to some people that might but be the Ross culture. Ross is, I think, it's the top five. To some bro. people, a car show might be Florida culture. To some, to yeah. some, what people wouldn't it be part of? Wouldn't consider it to be part of Florida culture. Depends on who you ask, brother. Ryan, would you consider car shows to be Florida culture? When you when you moved from Florida, did they say, bro, you're gonna love the car shows? I mean, I've only been here two years. Ryan, yeah. when you nah, came you can't here, do that. He just said he's only been here two oh, years. Ryan, before you came here, did that's, any that's did anybody true. say, man, you're gonna love the weather? I I bet they told you you were gonna love the weather, right? I personally moved here for the weather, and that was it. But you didn't move here for the car shows. No. So Ryan, have you ever like seen like the dunks and stuff like that, the old schools? That that's cool. like we, yeah. They, they consider that. Okay, to be here's part my of thing. If, I get it, and yes, I, I I'm <laughs> so I, I will backtrack. <laughs> it might be a part of the Florida culture. My thing is this: Why are we going to a car show if it's such big Florida culture? Why the fuck were we going to a car show to see him if it's such big Florida culture? Shouldn't we just go down the road and see like twelve? I mean, where I'm from, my daddy had a dog, so like I get it, I get it, I get it. Rick Ross, that's but he never he, brought his motherfucking car to the car show. That shit just wasn't. I mean, I'm not going to die on the hill for the car shows, but I'm just saying, like Rick Ross, I think people that go to it and enjoy the car culture, they like. That's like going, going to the club to and, and you want niggas to say, "Bro, you look fly today." My bad. What different thing? I'm just saying. <laughs> damn. What is? It? Hold on. What does that mean? Die on the hill? I ain't heard that before. Uh huh. Because I ain't going to die. Like I'm not going to like damn, go all go all out with, with this. You know no, 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 like, no. I get it. I'm like, damn. Like, I ain't never like heard that. Never like, damn. I ain't going to die on the hill. Like, yeah, whoa, man. You learn it. things, you know, hanging around me, man. You know? Yeah. Bring, that real shit. Bring yeah. That intellect level up a little bit. No, know? no, no. Honestly, could it just sound? Like, <laughs> he said your intellect level. <laughs> you know, could it? You know, what I'm saying? that's like, like that's the, uh, that's the smartest. You know what I'm saying? Like you know where I'm saying? That's what Drake should say. Christ. You know what I'm saying? Where they say Christ. What he died on? A cross. No, I know the I'm saying, but wasn't that one? That's the same. On the hill. No, down the cross. Yeah, that's the, that's, they say that too. Okay, no, okay. That's why I thought about. It. I'm like, damn, that was kind of like some kind of 
you know, atheist kind of type of shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, damn, I ain't finna. Okay, that's all it was. That's what it was. Y'all seen uh, Brownie finna get drafted? Hell yeah, he just jumped four. He jumped the forty inch vertical. There's a nigga in the hood right now. Do that three times. I get. I get what you're saying. That's impressive. <laughs> what though, bro? I'm just go adding on. No, you're right. You're right. My you know fault. I get. Then, I jump then, in too quick. Then you Can you throw me one of them strongest? I like that flavor, brother. But go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure. Like you know what I'm saying. But um. <laughs> so then uh, <laughs> the Odell holler at him. The fuck. Hey, what you doing here? Google it. He did. Google go ahead, it. Go ahead, brother. Uh, no. Nah, then you know, boom. Uh. He shot good from the three, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, play defense. That's all you need to do. That's good. That's straight. We ain't asking Brian to come be in a lottery pick. You know that nigga six foot. <laughs> yeah. He's a six one shooting guard. That's, that's, that's bad. That's not good. Bro, he named, bro. And Edward and just locking thing, that shit up. Bro, and the thing is, the difference between Brian is going to be <laughs> different between any NBA player who ever played. Bitch, I'm coming in as a billionaire, so I don't have that same type of stress as like the next bro, motherfucker, I don't like bro. that here. You know what I'm saying? A, a real deal. You know what I'm saying? So now, of course, not adding to like. I don't think it's big people have status. No, I'm saying so it, that matters. Look at bro, bro. Come on now, just be honest. Look at uh, Giannis, brother. Does this nigga don't look comfortable than a motherfucker <laughs> on that bench? He look comfortable, stretched the fuck out. This nigga doing sham god shit. But here's my thing. No, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Mm. He's doing sham god shit because he's comfortable. Because like, hey, long as my brother's straight, hey, bitch, I'm gonna be straight. <laughs> so even with Bronny, you're never getting cut. You're never going to be like that. You don't even have to worry about them type of shit. You can really just develop. The fuck? My dad's about to buy a team in Las Vegas, so I'm gonna be straight. Like, it's, it's not like the damn. Oh shit, damn. If I fuck up, damn, they go. Hell no, Bronny. Like, you finna send that nigga to the to the damn gulag, bro. It is, it is what, what it you is. Think? Blue, do- hell no, it brings too much money. He's never going to the G League either. What you think, bro? Never. That's that's not even an option. That's not even an option. This nigga love Bronny, bro. No, I'm keeping it in the buck, bro. Your, your dad's LeBron James. You're not going to the G League. I'm only even putting extra miles on these tires because I want to play with my son. So he's about to be in the hell no, nah, bro. Come on, now. The fuck do you think clutch sports? Oh, my clutch sports. Hey, man, the fuck this is LeBron. This is Bronny James. They about to roll out the, the NBA finna roll out the red carpet. Like I got a question for you. But they changed but the rules before ahead, Bronny. Yeah. Hold on, bro. What you think? I mean, I think you know it's definitely a case of nepotism. But maybe this is the first time it kind of worked out in the favor of somebody that looks like Bronny. Um, but nigga. I think a roster spot may not be harmful, but I think once he gets to the point where we're actually putting him in games in his rookie season, then it's like, all right, now what are we doing? Just so he can play with LeBron. He's not an NBA guy. He's not a top 12 player on any NBA team's roster. I don't care what LeBron said. He actually walked that back. He did. Because he realized. Because then he said, no, give the kid a chance. Wait a second. Wait. So, yeah. But it don't even matter. Because my word is law. No, it's not. But I LeBron's mean, word law no, in the not. NBA. But no, you got to think at the same time. There's a team dynamic. So with Giannis, that that kind of works because Giannis is in his prime. You he just you, won you a championship. So you mean to tell me that Giannis? You think Giannis' brother is better than Lebr- uh, Bronny? Yes. Um, like I he would add more value yes. to like right now today. Yes. I just think it's a little different. Right now today. I can't. No the fuck. What the fuck? Bro? I just think it's a different he scenario. Can't shot. He can't dribble. You're right. And a nigga who averaged four points a game in college can. You're right. You're I just right, think bro. he's there for emotional support, though. That's, right. that's what I'm saying. Like, he's just there support, like, to be like, I want oh, to I want to make sure Giannis is cool. Here's like, my like, thing. Like, like, like the, like the cool. Wagner right. brothers here in Orlando, awesome. both of them who? Awesome. Quick question. Out of all the teams right now hold that on, are still on, left on, in the playoffs, who, who name one emotional support guy on the roster right now? What do you mean? Out of everybody that's right. left in the playoffs right now, name one emotional support player that's taking up a roster spot right now. So therefore, any so therefore, therefore, any team with championship aspirations is not playing or drafting Bronny James when you can use that 14th or Cap. 15th roster spot on Cap. a fucking player from the buyout Cap. market, bro. Cap, and you, you get and you get and you get LeBron James. And another too. thing, Shut up, bro. another what? thing, bro, nigga, niggas was getting what. You if, get, you, there's bro, not one team that if, said I don't. I would not take LeBron James right now. Bro, I'm telling you right now, him. bro. If Bronny get James gets drafted to the motherfucking Charlotte Hornets, LeBron James ain't going to the Charlotte Hornets. But that's the thing, though. My words law, so he's not. What does get, that mean? He's not going to get drafted to the Charlotte Hornets, bro. bro this shit is deep. What the what fuck? Yeah, nah, he's definitely going to the Lakers. 
one hundred percent. So, man. but why? It, I don't think I don't you think he gets why? a roster spot. I think he gets signed on as an undrafted free agent. He gets signed on, bro. You playing with him? You right? Get signed so on they, as an undrafted. Nah, free LeBron's agent. gonna make sure his son's well, name that, gets called. He's that, gonna make sure his son's name gets called. When Bronny ends up on a basketball court in the second quarter of a closed game, that's when we're not being serious. Because Darvin Ham dumbass would play him. Man, I mean, LeBron's pretty much the head coach for the Lakers. What the fuck? I don't, I don't, that's what I don't get. Like, bro, we bro, I, are, y'all are Lakers fans, right? No, well, no, you're a Magic fan. You're a Lakers fan. I'm a Magic fan. <laughs> we'll throw, we'll, I'll find the clip, Ryan. Don't you worry. <laughs> Where's um, the clip? Wait, when you asked me who was going to the finals, and I said it's all good, bro. And, and the first question to me saying that was you're a Lakers fan, right? And you said yes. And then no, I, I said, hold on, I'm I, a Lakers fan. I'm I got LeBron the clip, fan. bro. Please don't make me pull the clip. No, you. I asked you, you because we. But we ain't got time for you, you know what I'm saying? No, we do. Time. Uh, but what I was saying was, mm. you're fucking wild, bro. It's an underdeveloped Pat Bev that you're talking about playing, bro. bro that's that sounds crazy. crazy to say that, bro. Best of luck to Bronny, man. 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 For sure. He, I think he could be good in five, six years. I don't think he's ever going to be an NBA guy, bro. Damn. No, I think Bryce is going to be a I don't think Bryce better. is either. I think Bronny should have tried to play football. He's got good size for like a DB. Six, we one, two, get two. in return for an Anthony Davis trade. Now, if it's player for player, we get a player back. Anthony Davis is the thing that's keeping hope for the future. Right now. The fact that he'll still be under contract in like two Hold on, bitch. Five, it's coming. Like, it might be the wrong one. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to find it. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> is this it? Damn. Yes, right here. Bitch. Boom. Oh. You're a Lakers fan, right? That statement surprises me only because I didn't know the Lakers gave a f- about a legacy more so than winning championships. So you get an option to choose Cooper Flag or fucking Bronny James, you're going to pick Bronny James. Well, being right is cool as fuck. I'm telling you, Nick, I'm telling you. No, 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 being right is cool as fuck. You said I was a Lakers fan. So I got to go back. Okay, I, don't worry. We'll get to it. I'm going to put... We'll, yeah, okay. we'll find the whole clip. Because like, I, I don't randomly just say you're a Lakers fan. Nick, you know you know good and well they edit those clips. for. Sh- they're shorts for a reason. I got, got something for you. you I, I got something for like, you. Okay. I got you. It's true, I got bro. you. It's cool. Bronny we're James lined that shit up man. against Ant Edwards and watch what the fuck happened. Man, hold on. First of all, Ant Edwards better goddamn motherfucking get permission to line it up with Bronny, bro. Don't fucking play with Bronny and Ant like that. Ain't finna happen like that, homeboy. <laughs> you think they're gonna allow goddamn Anthony Edwards fucking the guard a uh, uh, Bronny to guard Anthony Edwards? Bro? I hate that Dion's ruining Travis Hunter. I wish Travis Hunter would have went to FSU or some shit like that. Bro, so, you ain't not finna play them type of games, bro. We ain't finna do it like that, bro. That sounds crazy. Bro. You think he's being developed at Colorado? He's still bro, like, he's being more than developed. How he's still the same size he was in high school. No, he being more more to develop, and he, you know he he, he gained weight. He gained he weight. He still looks Boom. like a small guy. Yeah, you know I ain't saying he isn't, but I'm saying he, you know what I'm saying, and at the same time too, like even with certain like them, bro, he's loose. But anyway, say developed and then just watched Cormani McLean fucking leave. Talk about bro, Cormani McLean and Travis Hunter is two not the same yeah, fucking. I could find a lot of similarities right now. Where? I'm not gonna put Cormani on the, the Travis Hunter. Again, like, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't say, crazy, I didn't say bro. developed, but we're talk, we're, so we're gonna sit here and act like Cormani McLean isn't a developable, pro, like a, a a fucking amazing prospect to, that you had a chance to develop. A 6'3", 190 pound corner, a five star out of Florida. He was who not runs 190 a, pounds. Bro. You can look it up. He I, was I not, no, look it up right now. Bro, Cormani McLean was not 190 pounds. I'm talking about right this second, right now. Bro, the nigga's not 190 pounds. Yeah, I don't bro. think he's one. He might not be, but what he's listed at. Okay, even okay, so that, and how much is Travis Hunter? One sixty. Okay, so my point. So six three, one sixty five. Just for just for purposes, you're telling me that's not a fucking as a as a legit deep. He can't come. I bet I bet Nick Saban would love to develop Cormani McLean. Doubt it. He didn't look at the film, bro. What are you talking about? He didn't look at no film. Says who? Dion. They asked him why isn't he playing. So did you see his huddle numbers, bro? No, don't then that. don't tell me what Dion said. Show me. So are you one of the people that believes everything Dion said? Yeah, clearly. No, no, not at all. But I do believe a lot. <laughs> do you think Dion Sanders has any type of accountability for them losing eight games last season? Well, he only had a job for like nine months before different things. Then half of the whole team from your spring that you thought was gonna be on your team transferred from you. So because he told them to. So then from from spring to the fall, you only had a certain a nice window. Like, the even, okay, like, these the players. Like, motherfuckers left. So when they were 3-0 and and he was, 
like pretty much like taunting reporters saying, oh, you don't believe now? So you think everything just well, no, changed no. after that? Or do yeah. you think yeah, he no, really no. believed like they were supposed to? Yeah, like, 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 yeah, like, like, this year they, they only going to lose one, one yeah, game and this year. And that's no, lose. no, no, let's back up. We're not talking about this year. We're talking about last year. Yeah, I'm talking about when they were 3 and 0 and he was beating his chest. I don't want to say beating his chest. No, not at all. In general, like they was they was they was trying it, man. They was shit on him. They were talking about oh, you, bro. Come How? on, bro. Yeah, question whether he's a things. good football coach, which is a valid question until he proves otherwise. He's a four and eight football coach. He didn't win. He didn't. He couldn't win the celebration. Yeah, but but it, but this it, 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 be the thing though, right? Four and eight. This is where it even goes into the situation to where like it be your own people, bro. See, he, he let it the be nigga about racist. What this what Colorado be, fans be your own, do every be, time, bro. Your own, every time, it be your own people. You know what I'm saying? When Nick Saban and all them. Boys, whatever they lose and some shit like that, you hear it still ain't nothing but the tide. They, you know, what I'm saying all the way down. Why? Because for a fact, that is the people, man. So then, even with Dion, Dion changed the whole game. He made Nick Saban retire, like real deal. He made Nick Saban like Nick, like hey, I ain't got time for this shit. This is Dion's land. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the fuck. So he made him retire. Boom. You know what I'm saying? And the different situations is to where it broke. This nigga got hit, bro. What college football coach ever had his own shoe come out during? Like, man, like I, you. I enjoy hearing this banter because you I gotta don't add, you gotta add all that shit in, right bro. Now. You have to add all that shit in. Deion into, Sanders man, did not. Deion Sanders did not get a shoe because he was a coach. Deion, it recan- it, it Deion recan- Sanders it, it came back out. Yeah, Deion Sanders coach, has yeah. a shoe because he is a Hall of Fame football player. Yes, and then it came has right back out because of him coaching. Or just because he's trending on the internet. However you want to look at it. Shout out to Well Off Media, man. <laughs> he on the team. Me, me, <laughs> they can't tell me shit. I don't, I don't like Deion Sanders. I don't like Deion. Well, you're a Florida State fan, though. I don't like the way. I but mean, you're a Florida State fan, but though. The thing, I am a Florida State. So fan. that's where it come from. I'm not mad at him for taking a play. That's his job. No, I'm saying, but in general, like that's why it, it come from. Like him, he don't he don't rep Florida State. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't give him the job. The way he didn't fl- even have way, a college way, diploma to get a job. You said he didn't have a college diploma to get a job. He did. He graduated from the what's the name? What that, is it? Tell us the school. The the what's the name? The uh the the all um He got like an ITT tech degree so he could go coach at Jackson State. He couldn't coach at Florida State at the time. And so, we wouldn't have hired so him anyway. Because so that's, that's what, what that major going college is going to hire a guy with no coaching experience? That's Colorado. crazy. That's crazy. That, no, that's crazy. As to like no what the fuck. They hired goddamn motherfucking Nick Saban. Nick, why you keep he bringing up one of the best football coaches he of all he, time? He, 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 ain't, he ain't know how to play football. He was one of the best. You said Nick Saban. Nick Saban had a ring. He had rings from high, the Nick Super Saban from was the NFL. All American, bro. bro, you um, understand he coached like with the Giants when they won the Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, like, but I'm saying nobody coach. seen Nick Saban do a backpedal and intercept the ball and you know run somebody over. You don't have to do that to be a great coach. No, no, no. I'm saying in general, but they still hired him off of that. Like he worked his, his way up. He didn't just start at Alabama one day. No, no, no. But I'm saying they hired him not from saying okay, he we probably know. started as a graduate assistant, bro. Like normal coaches do, not just from board. high school. To, but this is uh, Deion FPS. Sanders, though. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like USF should have hired Deion. But, they, but, but, but here's my thing: you're asking. So yes, Deion deserves special privileges. Cool. So you think that For FSU sure. should have just made him a head coach? Duh. No. Why? Fresh off of Willie Taggart, we're gonna give Deion Sanders a job. And look, we just tried to, to get a black. No, coach that ain't Willie and Deion. It's not the same. We, not they look like the same right now. No, no they, their no. programs they look the exactly Hell the same. No. To me. I think Willie Taggart had more control over his football program. Bro, that's so cat, You think bro. Colorado's that's a well run program? You a USC fan, bro? What? That's you think that's a well run program? That's a machine right now. That, 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 that's <laughs> what a you machine. Say without laughing? That's a you machine over there. I, hey, I, I watch YouTube day in, day out, you know what I'm saying? And I'll be watching yeah, what they got going well on. Off media. And you see how they, you know what I'm saying, well off and, you know, reach the people. You know, shout out. Y'all. That's Boy, their man. problem. They, they, they big on YouTube, not on the field. Bro, they got beasts, bro. And then, bro. Who? Bro, what bees they got? Bro, they just had the whole. Uh, Ryan, can you look up uh, Colorado's football schedule for me for two thousand? Bro, they gonna win every game besides the game versus UCF. UCF gonna smack there. Are they beating Utah? They about to smack Fuck everybody. No. Cause you know why? DT two, and if you know what DT two stand for, don't touch two. Long as Shador got room and they built the the Great Wall of Boulder. And hey, you think that's what they did? The they great they wall built the Great Wall of Boulder. 
Uh, man, they finna uh uh-uh, uh, and they got a running game too. What running game? They, they got, got a, they got they got bro from Ohio State, and they got the other dude. Oh, you're right. From the, Miami, the four Ohio. string, the four string from Ohio State. The four it? string. Dalen Hayden was a four string. You in the four string? It's kind of what Dion said. He said it himself. Like you're not going to get a lot of starters from the transfer portal because they're leaving their school because they're not playing. They're not playing. Yeah. So if they're not playing at their school, mm-hmm. and you come over here, that probably means you're not getting top tier talent. You're, do you, you, know many, do you know how many rushing I'm, I'm yards? Do you know Tim, how many Tim, rushing Tim yards Tebow's Dallin uh, Hayden started has? over Cam Newton? You know what I'm saying? And Tim Tebow, happen. Tim Tebow's arguably you could you could make an argument he's a top three college football player of all time. Fact. It's a little different so you, situation. Yeah, but I'm still about? but Cam Newton was on the bench. Yeah. But he wasn't developed yet. How do you know he wasn't developed yet? Be- Nigga, did you watch the film? Did you watch the difference between Florida Cam Newton and Auburn Cam Newton? Did you watch the difference between Florida Cam Newton and Bling College Cam Newton? I'm coming off the bench when we already up did, had, 32 did points. Did you notice the difference between Florida Cam Newton and Auburn Cam Newton? That's yeah, the, the difference number. in development. One had number 13, one had number two. See, that was the difference. You don't, you're not a ball watcher, brother. Yeah. You what are you talking about? You're not a ball watcher, brother. You I'm say not you're not a ball watcher. You're brother. not a football watcher. Bro, I'm saying Cam Newton didn't get a time to shine. But in, that's in, Cam in Newton at the same time. Those are two Why five stars. At a position where only one person can play. So, so that's saying, different so than I'm a running back. Thing, that's what that's what Deion Wide doing. Receiver. Deion getting them boys out of transfer. Deion doesn't board. have a Cam he Newton on his team. Right now, yeah, he do. Bro, he Dallin does not have Hayden one had Cam four Newton has four hundred rushing he had, yards. But he in has his a Tom career. Brady on his team. Who? Should do. He had him on his team last year and they won four games. Hey. Shador Sanders will not be a top three quarterback this year, statistically. I don't want to argue with you about it. crazy, bro. But my only thing is, and as a black person, I get offended when we act like the black experience has to be exactly what Deion Sanders is putting out there with rappers at the games, Mm -hmm. doing all the extra stuff. Like, we in the NIL world. Why can't you support what the brother at Notre Dame is doing? Who's a far better coach than Deion Sanders? Hell of a better black. football coach than God dang Deion. Is he not black? Is Marcus Freeman not he a don't black like light man? Skins, bro. Hey, Deion. See. So because he's not doing the the. I'm saying no. It's everything. You have to add like Deion Sanders. Is it just okay, Coach Prime? How come it's Deion doesn't effect. recruit? How come he doesn't recruit? He does recruit. Who? He does recruit. He does. He got Travis Hunter. He can't. He can't. He got walk. what? He got Travis Hunter. How did he get Travis Hunter? He recruited him. We know how he got Travis Hunter. How did he get Travis Hunter? That was, his, that was his nephew. I mean, he got one. He gets one good player every cycle. I respect. He only had how many cycles he had. This will be his. This would next one would be the third one. cycle. Or you you got to include. You got to include Travis Hunter when he went to Jackson For State. Sure. So that's still that's three. Yeah, he's gotten Travis and I got, Hunter. I, bro, I got Travis Hunter. He's gotten Travis Jackson Hunter State. and Jordan Seaton. Bro, I got Travis Hunter coming track Jackson State when I could have went to. Any no, that was legit. Country. But if you look at Colorado's recruiting classes last year, even right now. You know what I'm saying? Not even in the top 50. You know what I'm saying? But even last year, when he left from Jackson State type of thing, he didn't... How long did he have to recruit? Here's he my thing. He, he didn't know he was going to go to Colorado or USF. Dion is a hell of a salesman. I'm not doubting that. So, yes, he no, can I'm sell... Saying, I'm saying he have not even had a whole full... Well, this one, a full... I don't think Dion knows how to build a football team. I think Dion knows how to relate to players. I don't think Dion knows how to manage a football team. Yeah, I mean, we're going to see this season. You're gonna I, see mean, I just feel like y'all are going to be like in for a rude awakening when like, it really comes crashing down this year and he doesn't coach next season. I don't think he's coaching next season. You think he's going to coach next season? I don't think he's coaching next season. I, think I mean, is. not next season, not 2024. I don't think he's coaching 2024. I think he will, but I think it'll be down at uh, Prime Tech, Prime Prep. Maybe, because without Shador, without Shiloh, without Travis, I don't think he's going to have get the They about to get the number one quarterback. The, the, they're not the getting. They're not flipping Julian Lewis from USC. Yes, they don't are. even fucking play. Yes, they are, bro. I don't right think there. after this That's season. That's not in your face. Bro. After this season, I don't think. Do they you realize anything, Julian Lewis currently has NIL campaigns with ran with agencies and companies that are based in Los Angeles right now? His Boy, biggest sponsor. Watch this. His biggest sponsorship is the same company that pays fucking Caleb Williams. You mean to tell me that He's Julian not. Lewis is flipping to fucking Boulder, Colorado? Yes, Name no. Boulder, Colorado's biggest NIL fucking sponsor. You can't. Walmart. Dumb. You sound stupid. <laughs> Walmart? What the fuck? You know the relationship Dion got with Bro. Walmart? Didn't Walmart give uh, Jackson State that whole turf? Don't, that, don't look at me. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they gave him the whole turf Bro. and everything like that. Walmart. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Colorado does not have as much money as USC. Stop it. It's, it's not... <laughs> you're talking to a real ball fan, bro. Like, no, I'm saying you. You ever been to Boulder, Colorado? You know, much money in Boulder, Colorado. I'm talking their football programs. Oh, I'm saying Colorado, you that, boy. you're tripping. Hey, if man, they, think, got, they, they got they, you know. We could bet it right now. How much you want to bet that Julian Lewis don't flip to Colorado? He may flip, but it ain't gonna be to Colorado. How he, much you want to bet? 
He, I, I guarantee you, he'll ne he's not going to Colorado. I, I bet. Um, what you want to bet? He's. I promise you, he's not going to Colorado. And I bet. D, I bet Colorado don't, don't even have a time. Let me get. Bet, nah, do it. Let me, no, do no. It. I get three uh, videos posted on fourth quarter. Sure, whatever buddy. I send. Sure, buddy. You and if you're saying? wrong, then what? Nah, that's what I want. You know what I'm saying? I need a hundred. A hundred what? Dollars. Dollars, nigga. Okay. I like that. It's yeah, you know what I'm saying. That right you there, my friend, is how is how you bait. Is that that's how you bait? Hey, you gonna right see there. it on? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You gonna see it on? Uh, Mr. And you just you just let him sign up for that dumb ass shit too. I told right, him not right, to get peer right. pressure into it, but bro. hey, you never know, man. This Colorado might said, ball out. Okay. Colorado about to ball out this year, bro. You like fucking gunner music still? That's what's wrong with you. Gunner music is. Yeah, that I ain't gonna lie, new bullshit. Shit. Yeah. It's him. That shit ain't stop him. That shit had a whole different effect than what it did with Boston Richie. I don't know. I still haven't listened to it. You know, yeah, bro. Some of us stand, on, stand on morals and principles over here. So. Is that, is that, is that Gunna, why you're not listening Gunna to him? Did what he was told to do. Is that why you're not listening to him because morals hmm. and principles? Yeah, why else would I not listen to Gunner? What? what but what morals yeah, and principles? Like he, I want to dive into that. What? What? Like yeah. he, he was he, he was done. He did what he was told to do. How you know what he was told to do? Because one thug daddy, his daddy, said. Y'all need to leave. Y'all don't know what the fuck going on. Like y'all need to like this from his like his dad, not his homeboy who made the beat. This is his dad. You know what I'm saying? He like y'all don't even know what the fuck going on. And also too for the fact with Gunner, and I don't know the detail, but I'm just you know I'm thinking, but Gunner being a, a a crip and Thug being a blood allegedly allegedly, you can't just tell on one of the biggest oh. bloods. Thugs in Atlanta, it's still in Chat Atlanta, told. and no, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, and you can't, it's over. Thug on. you know what I'm saying, you can't, I'm talking, <laughs> you didn't hear about no, nobody getting killed, nobody dying, you seeing gunners just doing, it. that's not going to happen like that, you know what I'm saying? It don't sit well with me, that young thug in jail and gunner out here doing what he's doing. But he's the one still bringing the money in. I mean, I feel Cause like. Because ain't nobody else bringing the money in. I'm not chastising anybody you know else. You know what I'm saying, you know, them, them, them bills is still going up, you know, they free shit, you know that's what I'm saying, fact. and them... Who else is bring? What, what y'all doing over there? No, fuck. What, huh? No, that's valid. Are you gonna? Okay, so are who you the fuck bringing some money in? Are you going to listen to Gunner's album at all? Or you um, have no plans to? It's not really on my to do list. You ain't gonna grab none of that P gear he about to drop. <laughs> nah, I've never bought any rappers gear. <laughs> that's not gonna start with Gunner. But one person gear you uh, grab. You know what I'm saying? You grab some of my gear, bro. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Fat. Go to the store. And, 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 and it was so real. One day it was a random uh, night. I'm in I'm in Tampa. I'm just hanging out. Boom. I looked over. Oh, my dog got them in the club wearing a shirt. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna be there. I ain't know I was gonna see him. You know what I'm saying? J-Rod always been a real one. I appreciate you. Yeah. So that? I got a question. So what made you want to get into the uh the blog, you know what I'm saying, type of lane? I wouldn't say anything made me want to. I don't think mm -hmm. um, 2020 came around, COVID hit, and everybody was kind of like just stuck in the house. So uh, my partner, Chris, you know, uh, Big Chris, like he wanted to do like a rap Shout out to Big Chris. Because we didn't have anything going on in the city. All the clubs were closed and he's mm -hmm. a club promoter. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to do something like to not be bored, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. So we just did like a rap tournament online with... Mm -hmm. Different rappers in the city, but like 32, 36 yep. rappers in the city. Yeah. And we just um, did that and had the whole city watching and had a lot of people outside of the city in Florida mm -hmm. like tuned in. So once it was over, we just said, well, let's, you know, let's try to keep the momentum going. And since we already kind of bringing the eyes to artists, mm -hmm. let's just, you know, start up a page. And, you know, we did that. And, you know, from my perspective, like I had always been, you know, even from our days on Twitter, like I was always mm -hmm. like, Posting the artists and yeah. you know supporting Always different the artists mix, that sure. you know that I like from the city and from Florida in general. That was like part of what we did on Twitter was mm -hmm. like put people on the stuff. So it just made sense. So it was just like okay, this is cool. Like you know, so we just kept going and you know that's lit. That's about it. Them niggas done lap y'all. Tampa rap done uh, lap Orlando rap. Oh goddamn! I ain't gonna lie. Uh, no, not no. We Hell can talk no. about it. Fuck no. Tampa rap has lap no. Orlando rap. Hell no. Nah. Don't talk to me about that. And, 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 and this is the thing, you know, for a fact, me and the goddamn quote unquote the Orlando rap, like, we ain't even seeing out of eye right now, but hell no. Nah. I can nah. name rapper right now that's hotter than every rapper in Orlando. I'm listening. One Way 4X is hotter than most rappers. 90 One Way 4X hotter, hotter than, than 90% of the rappers here. 
He's not hotter than Danny Towers. <laughs> yes, he is. No. Okay. He went platinum or gold or what well, he did. Cause Danny, I You're think talking he went about past gold. achievements. I'm talking about right now. Talking about, I'm talking about right now. What the fuck are you talking oh, about? Danny, he, he, Danny he, went gold today. What the fuck are you talking about today, nigga? Like, nigga, what? You, 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 you mentioned it today. What, like, song, oh, yeah, what like, song did Danny go uh, gold with? My phone over the charting, but, but but if you if he went gold, you know it. What song was it? Bro, I don't know exactly, but I know I seen the plaque and he said, you know, congratulations. Like, <laughs> like, what year though? That's no, he no he he posted it. He posted it this year. Well, this year. Does Orlando consider Danny Towers an Orlando rapper? Yeah, because Chapman do, man. Chapman Orlando. You know what I'm saying? We, I can't speak for him. You know what I'm saying? The loss. You know what I'm saying? But if Danny Towers, like, this nigga from Orlando. So but put it like this. Do y'all outside of Orlando consider Danny Towers to be an Orlando rapper? I mean, when we think about Orlando rappers, I mean, you know, I have a different perspective because I lived here. But, um, yeah, if you ask a normal person in Tampa, like, they're going to say, hot boy, block nine. Mm-hmm. Booty. Like they're not gonna think Danny Towers. Like you know, talk about Orlando. I, and, I, and the thing is too, the reason why I was saying that to like uh, Danny Towers because I know he was gonna go with as of today. So we're not even gonna talk about Hot Boy Pooty or Glock. Well, I think that's why he said it. though. Pooty's like, out. That's though. why. That's why I didn't say. Pooty, Pooty's I, I didn't out. even mention them because Pooty's y'all... a free man. And one way for us right now is hotter than Pooty. No. Okay. <laughs> I have no reason to lie. No, no, no. I'm thinking. I'm gonna. I'll say. Am I lying, J. Rod, or am I? I don't telling? know. I don't know. That's tough. That's. Tough. I don't know. I'm saying until like right now, like bro. Even we talking about when you say hot, hotter, are we talking about streams? Are we talking about what shows? Like what we saying that he's hotter? I'm talking about streams. I'm talking about shows. I'm talking about buzz. I'm talking about ear to the streets. What they saying? One way four X right now. You could make a case. Yeah, that I, 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 I ain't gonna right argue now. with you, bro. Hot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't argue, but. Tampa music scene is bigger than Orlando. My text as of Orlando as of eight fifty. What's good, fam? I would like to talk about One Way Four X latest single beat it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know as of eight fifty. Shout out to Four X. Shout out to Alamo. Mm-hmm. You know they definitely. No, I ain't like look the thing though. Like I, I rock with, it, but I'm saying Tampa music scene isn't like bigger than like. Come on, bro. You. What I'll say about the Tampa's music scene, I think, you can say as far as our young crowd, like the younger generation, like the younger artists. I don't think there's a city in Florida that has more young artists that have some motion in Tampa. I will go. I'll, okay. I'll go on the record and I can say that. Okay. Because I'm looking for it. Like I yeah. look for them in different cities, like Orlando. I want to see. I want to know who the top five like kids under 21 are in Orlando. But every time I see y'all have an Orlando conversation, it's these names that was around when I was rapping. So it's mm-hmm. like. Okay, mm-hmm. is this still are these still the best rappers in Orlando? Like, where are the kids? Cause these niggas that y'all naming probably got kids the same age as 4X and GG Osama. So that's it's like, my, what are we doing? That, that's why my list be my list. What are we doing in Orlando if we don't have any young bloods coming up? Mm-hmm. But you but you put Mook Boy on your shit. I went off a of stream. But you gotta retire that. I mean, well, if Mook Boy is one of the best still, rappers in Orlando, I'm saying still, he's still I mean, going. What are you talking I can't about, bro? Be mad at I, I, I'm talking about, and I'm going off of streams and the numbers, and his numbers are like that, and he's still consistently know, dropping. And that's where you get me every time because it's by the streams and the numbers, and I can't argue that. But even if you take the streams and numbers out, Mook Boy, do you not think Mook Boy is still one of the bigger, Damn. most listened to artists from Orlando sure. or out of Orlando right now? Sure. You almost got to say that with all and these boys locked up. And, and that's why I plead the fifth. Because by default, yes. But at the same I mean, time, default, I think that's why he's saying that Tampa scene is bigger than Orlando's right now. Because if we're you're forced still putting, to listen to people, if you're still putting thirty late we, guys no, in their late thirties on the list, but he was the only he was the only, DJ, he was the only one. Bro, we just heard a DJ put Whoop in his top five. He's probably his top five in Orlando right now. No, not but, right now. Though. And even if you include him, it's because it's by default. It's not because Whoop's just dropping and he's so hot right now that he deserves a spot. Right, in the top and, and, five. and same time too, different different things. Other people like in different DJs and different people like they mention certain people's names, so it, quote unquote is no smoke outside of like the can actual I say facts. It? Can I say it? Can yeah. I? I could. I could say it. Yeah. Maddie, quit quit doing yeah. that. You know what I'm saying, Maddie? Because the thing is with Maddie, like even with different things with <laughs> Maddie, like Maddie, he don't care about this one. Like Maddie will go. To the smoke, like he will start the smoke a lot. Well, he he said Whoop was in the five. I know that's what I'm saying, but also too, he's not fin to now smoke it out with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like he like okay, I'll pick and chew. Like okay, a little bit here, yeah, over he, there. So you saying he ain't trying to beef with, with Chuck? Yeah, no, I'm saying even in general, I'm saying like like of artists. Like there's a lot of artists, and now why you just called Maddie that, bro? What you called Maddie pussy like that on camera? <laughs> 
bro. You sound crazy. I can't believe it. Maddie, you know how we rocking, bro. Nobody ever to call you that, bro. No, hey, before no. before P.I. Bang gets upset. Um, yeah, and start yelling and shit. I'll, I'll read. Hey, I called I call P.I. Bain the other day. I called him Uncle Elroy. He, <laughs> he, he was my dear. What you mean? Blah, blah, blah. P.I. I don't even I, know. Like, me and him lived like literally like right around the block from each other. For real? Yeah, Frisco Circle, yo. Yeah. Oh, back when he had the trap. What you finna say? Jumping. Before I'm going to go. backtrack on what y'all said about Orlando because I do think Cutting Reese is bigger than anybody in Tampa. Yeah, that's why, that's why we didn't even go down to names. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? Cuddle Reese is a thousand times bigger than anybody in Tampa right now. That's one. And cut him, yeah, and, yeah, and the crazy thing is, look, and, and cut him like that, and cut him don't even get all the way to support, you know what I'm saying? Quote unquote, we know why. Like, we know why. Yeah, I might know. I don't know why. Why? I think because, I mean, I've said I it think. on record. I think it's because of how he came out. I think it's because of how he got on. But he ain't, no, I'm saying. No, I, well, I don't even talk about like that. I was talking about until just in general because of uh, wasn't that he beefing with um with uh with Hot Boy, right? Alleged, well, allegedly. allegedly Glock now. Oh, allegedly Glock. But nine, that's okay. what I'm saying. How he came yeah. out? What was the song that blew up for him? No statements. Who was he talking to? Oh yeah, yeah. That leak, that five man, that bit was hard. The song was hard. Good. But I think that that's what, and I and I've said it. The but even grow, like even you can even tell from the artistry, like you know what I'm saying, like from he's not like your normal drill rapper. Yeah, I'm saying like even the, the last stuff that he just dropped. And here's what I say gas. about Orlando and they scene. Every time an artist do that, every time art, an artist try to grow from they sound, y'all shut their ass up. Who y'all? Or not y'all, okay. like including you, but Orlando. The people of Orlando feel like, oh, you 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 got pop. You went, you went industry. I don't, and that's why I ain't allowed. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't, y'all stay put. Because they, they, they they've coming. done it. They've done I'm it. I'm telling y'all. The, and the only reason why they didn't do it to Hot is because Hot stayed relevant in Orlando and booked in Orlando, and he was actually involved in street shit. Look, allegedly in Orlando. And, and also too, exactly what you're saying, right? So even with Orlando, Orlando had I, I put this on Facebook, and it might even be slimmer than that, but you like Facebook. Uh, I fuck with Facebook. Chat be chat be sniping. The reason I like on Facebook, I like to you know what I'm saying a little bit on Facebook. You know what I'm saying a little bit more than you know Instagram because Instagram I got a lot more of my other stuff going on. Facebook is like man, I don't care about what y'all niggas say, but I want to school with y'all. You look like y'all. a Facebook like, nigga. Who cares? But anyways, um, the thing where I was gonna stand, what the fuck I was about to say, bro? You fucked me up with that one, <laughs> goddamn little John. You called me little John? <laughs> no, bro. You called me little John? It's I like he calls you Lil John. I ain't crying. Nigga drinking a Mike's bro. Hard calling me Lil John. I ain't like, shout out to Mike's Hard Lemonade. I ain't like, we can even work something out, you know what I'm saying? I think we can definitely make some shit. shit. Hey, y'all seen that uh that motherfucking teacher that got fired? Yeah, fire his ass, bro. You thought they should have fired him? Bruh. For the break thing? Bro, come on, bro. That bro, you tripping, bro. You got kids playing in your hair, bro. Like that ain't that ain't that's not even appropriate, bro. I agree. You know what I'm saying? That's not appropriate. Like like what's next? Massages and shit. Ooh, that's true. Like your hair, like even if it was a, a female, like if it was a female where you got little girls braiding your hair, you'd be like, okay, but you're a dude, bro. Like come on now, like you can't have little girls playing in your hair, bro. That shit wild. And then you put put it on social media. What the fuck you got? What the fuck you got going on, bro? Yeah, I mean, I think the optics, the optics were bad. I mean, you know, if I had a daughter in middle school, mm-hmm. the last thing I want is her to be playing in a grown man. Yeah, head. yeah. Like, that's not something that, like, even if he's not on that, like, even yeah. if I don't think he's on that, mm-hmm. it's still like, bro, like, what are we doing? Like, that's not my, your, it's not my daughter's job yeah. to do your hair or take your twist out because you set up an appointment yeah. and you don't have time for it. Yeah. Like, so yeah, like you can be cool with your kids all you want. I'm all for teachers having tight bonds with students, mm-hmm. but you just got to like be able to see things from other people's perspectives yeah. when you're doing stuff in life in general. Yeah. So me as a teacher, okay, I know I'm not, I don't mean any harm, but if I'm doing this and I'm posting this on the internet, he said it. Yeah. On, that's why I don't feel sorry for him. Yeah. Because on the post, he said, let's stir the pot. He stole your catchphrase mm-hmm. and said, let's stir the pot. So what do you think that means? That means yeah. I know that's when I post this, yeah. there's going to be some people that don't like this. So why am I posting this? And you posted it for attention and you got the attention. And now if you got fired, you got fired because you got the attention. You do you it. think he actually got fired though? 
Yeah. Or do you think that's part of the optic, right? Like, let me be, let me be dramatic. Let me. Nah, that nigga fired for real. For real. I don't know if he's fired. He's, I, I or saw he, the, he's he his leave. sister well, say, yeah, it was, it's summertime. So, yeah, like yeah. they got like yeah, he two weeks left for nine days anyway. So yeah, he ain't, he, he was ready to quit any damn way. Yeah, that's why I would. He was about stirring the pot. He was finna. I ain't gonna lie. My daughter come home talking about teacher X Y Z. Let me take out his braids. Yeah, it'll be. I'm gonna take out some. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, you gonna feel heated, bro. Like. No, nah, that that ain't that ain't that ain't appropriate. Yeah, I think most men feel that way. Like I've seen, you know, I've seen some women like was like, oh no, nah, and the parents knew, and man, like, uh, you know what I mean, I wonder nah. how many of those parents were. And you know I see, I, mean? I, I see one woman, one woman, one woman who said she was more upset because she was a mother of one of the children, and she was wondering why he didn't ask her to take her to for her to take his braids out. And I think that that's like, that shit made me so mad. So she was mad that her daughter wasn't one of the ones no, that was... she was mad that her daughter was the one taking out his braids. And he and he, she was mad that the teacher never asked the mom to take out the braids. Like, she wanted him to ask that's, her to take out his that's, braids. That's, that's the day and age we living in and that's that the shit, bro. My fault. And that's the problem. That shit crazy. Like, that's the issue, bro. Like, that's disgusting to me. You more worried about why you ain't almost catch your nut versus... Why your daughter unbraiding a fucking 41 year old man's hair? And you're probably not 41, but you get the point. Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> ridiculous. That's yeah. wild. Like, that's wild to me. And, I be, and I'm not going to sit on here on this pod and be like, oh, I blame social media. No. I blame just. Just. Parenting. You know, bro. They're yeah. just like stupid. It's just stupid. I mean, I think we're at a point and deeper than just the braiding incident, I think in general, like, we had a. Time where a lot of the parents aren't like the parents of the past generation, uh -huh. and I think that's leaking down to the kids. That's yeah. why a lot of these kids are growing up faster. A lot of them are getting into more trouble because these parents that are like, you know, in their thirties now, they aren't like the parents that was in the nineties and the two thousands. Like, you couldn't Hell get no. away with this stuff. So it's even, like, and even me, like I parent differently. Like, I parent completely differently than my parents' parent. You know what I mean? Like, it's a whole different because, like, even, I don't know what it is, but, like, this generation, like, they don't take criticism well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you could tell them, you could be like, hey, do this. And they take that as, like, I already know. Like, I, like, I already know. Yeah, but you're an involved parent. And I yeah. think that's the thing that I'm really alluding to. Like, I think there's still a lot of parents that are, like, living their life. Like, 100%. a lot of parents, like, yeah. my mama wasn't going to the club yeah. nah. when I was 15 years yeah. old. Like, my mama was at the crib. My daddy, yeah. well, my daddy was at the club. My dad, That's why I was closer to my mama than my mm -hmm. daddy. But, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, so, you imagine if you live in a single-parent household yeah. and your mama or your daddy is always in the streets. Yeah. Where I, you going to be? And, 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 like, and, like, you're saying, like, that is crazy because, like, the older I got, it made me even just, like, appreciate, you know what I'm saying, like, the parenting I did have because, like, it's certain things, like, you didn't never see, you know what I'm saying? Just like how, like, okay, you can go over to chick house, okay, oh, her, her right there, goddamn, in the living room. You going in the room and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. even like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy. Oh, yeah, Just turn into like where you seeing like, like even now, bro. Hey, I, open the door for Chapman. Like, bro, what? You got your son? Bro, I be, <laughs> what's up, yeah, man? How you doing? Know like, like, that shit crazy, bro. Like, what the fuck? You like, still hit the door. Of course, that ain't got nothing to do. That. I ain't your dad. What the, what the kid was doing when you was hitting him? How the fuck I'm supposed to know? Nigga, what you? Where he went? He was in the living room by himself. Nigga, grown. Oh yeah. I'm not grown, but like nigga, like nine, ten years old. What the fuck? Hey, Why was on four? I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could. Yeah, you left a nine year old unattended awake. That man scarred for life, boy. Chap in there going no. crazy. Nah, 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 imagine nah, you nah, 10 nah. years old and you hearing that, man, nah, hell nah, nah, nah but nah, 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 you would have nah, been nah. on Fox 35. Bitch. And then 10 minutes later, you just look at the little nigga and walk out the door. Nah, see, I don't, I don't even do it like that. Think about saying? that. I'm a person where it's Think like about it if you was in his shoes. No, I How like, would you feel? <laughs> really, I ain't gonna tell you the truth. I would, like, even different shit, like, like I'll do shit. Oh, you like, was doing I'll, different shit? You know what I'm saying? What I'll do is like, cause. Be at the house, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, be at the house. Like, oh, you come out the room and ask the one with some food and shit. No, nah. you want some food, little man? No, no I'll, I'll stay over there like that. Like, I'll get, go, I'll, I'll bring like some Chick fil A shit. <laughs> like, real, you know what I'm saying? Wait, you, you bring him it too, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I bring I bring some Chick fil A and oh, shit you're like that. Oh, daddy. Like, no, like, I'll, I'll follow them to go in. Your step daddy. No, no, you this ain't even that. I'm talking, this ain't Chick fil A, that's a big that. step. I'm a 
bro, I'm the person, like, I'm sitting there, damn, like, damn, like, bro, like, you're nine years old, like, what, that, what, what grade is that, like, fifth, fourth, fourth, fourth fifth grade, like, nigga, come on, I'm the fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? So, so it's got, the least I you got nothing to do with, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm following instructions for your mama, like, so this ain't, like, nothing oh, crazy. Oh, she told you to get the Chick-fil-A? No. She said, come over. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can come over, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to do with while he's in the living room. Like, like, and then that's the worst thing you finna do is you it's finna little, go in and be like, hey, this little um, nigga watching Bluey and at every commercial break he just hear clapping. Nah, bro, I ain't. Din, 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 din. I mean, why you say you not? I hope that's what you're hearing. If din, not, din, you din, gonna din, have to have din, a talk. Yo, I'm sitting there laughing and telling me he's talking about, bro, like, after the Bluey, and you, you just hear clapping, bro. That's telling you. Crazy, you know, when bro. a YouTube ad come on, is that little quick second, it's like a break. All you hear is, din, 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 bro. Bluey. Nah, bro. Team years Dan Morgan. Bluey's a girl. Huh? Bluey's a girl. Bluey's not. Tell I Bluey's no a kids, girl. So Bluey's not. Bluey is. Bro, Bluey is a girl, bro. Nigga, Bluey is not. Bluey's a girl. What is Bluey, right? My nephew loves Bluey. What you saying? And right? we just found out Bluey's a girl, bro. Y'all believe in that in that transformer shit. I don't. So that's why y'all saying. No, that shit. I'm, bro, I'm keeping yeah, the book. Yeah. Like, bro, it's crazy. I had to Google it myself. I'm like, Bluey's not a and he's blue, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, that shit crazy. I think Sukiyana do crack, and that's why she dissed JT. I think she kind of slid a little bit. I don't think she... <laughs> I think she said, cocaine! <laughs> she snapped a little bit, bro. Came and cap. She snapped a little bit. Came and cap. And it's like, what can you say about Sukiyana? Like, the she's not already, like, have said... Yeah, you can't about... diss her, because she's already out there. Like, it's like, really, I don't care about nothing. Like, bitch, look at my Twitter. Look at my... I'm, I do this. Bitch, I squirt, like... We saw a squirt moto off. I'm up. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nothing. Y'all seen that? I ain't see. I ain't gonna lie. I, on some real shit, like I'm not just saying it because yeah, I, really, I haven't it, bro. seen that. I've seen the other one where like where she was doing what she was doing and some shit came out of the nose. Yeah, yeah we saw yeah, that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. one I've seen of her though. Oh, that's and right, actually, yeah. that's a lie. I seen the one where she was doing it to herself. That's it, right? Anything else? The fact that I've seen two and that's and like nobody's. Really I've seen a lot of videos in Sukiyana's collection. See, that's wild. <laughs> not gonna lie to. You. But I've seen a lot of y'all. That Fogger smoking for you, brother. It's great, brother. Delicious. Yeah. Shout out to Fogger. Shout out to the strongest. Yes, sir. My boy J. Rod. He he tried a little bit before. That's why he chilling right now. Ain't that right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Nah, but y'all know who y'all know the real Sukiana though, right? Like y'all know where her name came from. Mm mm. Look it up. Trust me. I got homework now. Yeah. yeah. Look it up. Go home. Type in that 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 uh mm -hmm. that website that start with a P. And type in that name. Twitter? <laughs> nah, because her name, her, her shit will pop up. Okay, go, go to the real Twitter. thing. So, also, too. So, um, I said what I said, bro. I'm finna do it tonight. <laughs> okay. Damn, bro. All right. So, okay. So, you saying, like, all right. what? Because I like to get put on artists in different situations. So, you said the XO guy. You talking about Tampa? Yeah, Tampa. Faux X. Four X, my bad. No, you no, good. You good. You good. Yeah, yeah. No, I, Four X. So, time. what are some other ones that are like, bro? Look out for these. Like, they, they. Nah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, o A Mark for sure. Like, you're like O A Mark. Okay. Like, he's on his own, totally different way. Like, he can sing. Like, he can. He's got a voice where he could do a gospel song if he wanted to. Yeah, um, wrong. But he's just really, really talented, vocally strong. Um, Got a good team behind him, so like, yeah, definitely O A Mark. Okay, and that's Mark is M A R Q. So okay. the letters O A and then M A R Q. Listen to him tonight. Listen to his song. He got one called Hear Me. Okay, got apology song. Like he hard. Okay. Um, Taz Money, Taz Money's hard. Yeah. Free Taz. He, he in the situation right now, mm -hmm. but. Nigga like, stay locked up. Most I of Tampa, is, almost shit, every bro. rapper in Tampa is locked up right now. But it seems like he going every other month. But go ahead. My Free heart. task. Uh, but like he, you know, he definitely be spitting, like listen to Pain on Paper Part 2. I mm -hmm. think it's my favorite one out of those. What's that one where no, he said- No, Pain on Paper 1. What's that one where he said, I, I ain't going to say the name on here, but uh, Let Lil, so I so, can kill him twice. Yeah, that's- um, Rocking shows, you know that I be turning up. Before the Cali um, hit your neck and shoulder, now he burning up. <laughs> yeah, he, he's not on that. Taz be, like, that be my problem. Like, even with Tampa, the scene in itself is like, sometimes I feel like the, the some of the people are so biased by like, what hood you from or who you hang around to where like, they don't really listen to the other rappers in the city. Like, 
to me, Taz money rap harder than almost anybody. Bro, it's floor. crazy how like every city say the same shit in different ways, bro. Mm -hmm. No, nah, like, it's literally, similar. It's very it, similar. It's literally that same thing. Like, like, like very that's similar. That's Orlando. And, and, and like, side, we, I, I want to let them finish that. But like, but that's why I don't be tripping about the Orlando shit, right? Like, mm -hmm. everybody make a big deal about that shit. It goes on everywhere. So mm -hmm. when you hear niggas say, oh, I wish it was like Atlanta, or I wish it was like Tampa, like we've heard people say, it's Ooh, like, me. that's why I sit here and I'm like, yeah, cause y'all don't, don't like understand, tough. like, yeah. bro. There's politics in every single yeah. city, mm -hmm. nigga. We're watching the. We just watched the politics unfold in Atlanta, the one place where everybody said, "Oh, they all loyal. They all stick together." Mm -hmm. Shit, <laughs> shit. I bet niggas what didn't know Future and Cardi was beefing. I mean, it's a lot. Right? And, and and the only reason why I say that is because that that came out during this whole little bull yeah. crap. Yeah. So it's like, but no, nah, go ahead, finish. So we had Taz money. Nah, Atlanta keep, you know, Atlanta just keep their stuff on the wraps. I yeah. mean, you know, we just talked, gee, it's been a minute since Baker Road Fresh got killed. Yeah. Man, that was some Atlanta shit. But, um, but as far as Tampa, I mean, shit, you know, even Marlo. Yeah. I mean, and it's I, a it lot. seemed like everybody know who did both. Oh, we all, we know who did Bank Road. But it seemed like, me? no, that was nah, proven. He, he, he it, there was no yeah, plug. That's, he's done interview, like, yeah. no, plug. yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I get it. You know, you don't want to be too police. That's what they be yeah, like. Oh not, man, y'all no, police yeah, ass yeah, niggas. Nah, yeah, it's not no, police. No, no, no. It's yeah. it's pretty it's much been said man. that. Shout no out, man, shout out to the police, man. Oh, I forgot who I was talking to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and also too, y'all said shout out to Chapman, right? Shout out to the the new police chief in the Koei. You know what I'm saying? First black police chief in Koei history. But yeah, like with Marlo, it seems. I see you, brother. I now with Marlo, know. it seemed like everybody know who did that. Who ticket. did that with Marlo? Yeah, yeah, nah, I hope not either. You know what I'm saying? I'm like shit. It's fourth quarter. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't put me in that. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Fourth quarter, slow down. I'm like, don't say that. Hold up, let me um, let me do this for Tampa real quick. I don't wanna. Man, let's do it for that. Wanna... Hey, oh, he got a list probably already. I mean, you know, I got my. Hey, so damn. Man. You know what would be wrong? What's that? What would be? Wrong, I know where man? this is going. What? I said the right word. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, we should do something like, because I ain't like, it's crazy how, like, it's a big. What the fuck? You so goddamn mother. Just ask, bro. You trying to stir the pot, huh? <laughs> no, man. I don't, bro. What the fuck? Your whole ear turning red, bro. What the fuck? I'm laughing my ass off. Yeah. Man. Just fuck. ask it, please. So, no, I was going to say, well, it's, so, it's, so, it's a, so it's a big gap between, you know, Tampa and Orlando, right? How, like, even with artists in different situations like that, you know, it's supposed to be like Central Florida. So, the same thing, you know, down south, you know, they say, like, Tri County, you know, down south, you know, all the different kind of vibes, and they be all locked in. But in Tampa and Orlando, it's like we literally two different worlds. Like, you, you can, I can't even name. The, the top artists from Tampa outside, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Tom G's and the Kid Bricks and like them type of artists. That's why y'all need to make a list together. Well, no, it ain't got to be like a... <laughs> oh, that's what you thought I was... <laughs> oh, you crazy, bro. Let this man cook, man. You tripping. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Man, that shit won't be too bad, but... No, but no, we should do something like we're like, um, like some kind of like Tampa, Orlando kind of like show kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be kind of dope somebody that you... Yes, sir. Go ahead. I hate to jump in here. You challenged me to a, a five artists versus. Five. Oh yeah, yeah. But hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. yeah. Instead of that, because I'm not gonna take you up on that, like I told you. I'm no, not no, for do sure. That. All right, no. Ask him. Tampa versus Orlando, but still on some like after the after the show, go work together. Oh yeah, no, off rip, bro. Ain't like we. Ain't shit, so you're bro. saying you'll pick a better five artists on the show than he would? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <coughs> from Orlando? No, no, no. yeah, I, no, I pick saying. five from Orlando. You pick five from Tampa. I don't think you can pick five more talented rappers, but we can yeah, no, I'm saying it, either way, we can we can go talented, we can go big giant thing. We going to like okay, look, you know the little the, the, that hood, t -t 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 -t, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck y'all want to do, like that ain't. <laughs> I mean, good. I would like to see who the five are from. Yeah, who are your five? Know, I, yeah, and I'm saying, I, bro, come on now, like you know what I'm saying? I'm Chapman, bro. I didn't ask that. I said, who are your five? Yeah, I'm so Chapman. So you know, don't worry about the five. You know what I'm saying? Because why, why would I say it? Then now he's giving homework to like, okay, well, no, nah, bro. Nah, like, you say I mean, your five. They are. You yeah, say you. I, that I, ain't gonna. He, talk, you act I'm like he can game nigga. plan for the show, nigga. Ain't no strategy to it. He, what's he? He ain't got to. You, you was already scared to do it in the first place. No, no, it's, I'm not scared. It's a matter of want. I don't want to do it. I just don't want to. <laughs> I could. I just. I don't want to do. Yeah, that. yeah. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, I hear you. You're no, no, no. Do I don't it. want to. But why don't you want to do it? Because you, you want to do it for the culture. See, that's that Drake shit, bro. It's not. You know what I'm saying? To it's where not. Like you because it has nothing to do with the culture. Okay, well, then why you don't want to do it? What's your reasoning for doing it? 
my reasoning, same reasoning as until, you know, where... Don't tell me same reasoning. Tell me the reasoning. Name them. Tell me reason one. Re if there's multiple, reason one, reason two, um, reason three. Okay, or uh, the, um, you expanding, expanding the, uh, like the culture, so like exposure, you know what I'm saying, even different things like, uh, like how like... At the end of the day, especially most of the things that like you guys would this show be live streamed? We could do all that. A live stream at a podcast. We can have And where would it be live streamed at? Bro, that, bro that's talking about details. Yeah, I don't that's know. The, bro. Thing, though, I, hold on, hold on. Yeah. the reason why I asked that, because mm -hmm. you're saying it would help with exposure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. venue has a capacity. Yeah, yeah, no facts, for sure. And most 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 of these rappers that'll be at this show have twenty the following than whatever that venue's capacity is. You said twenty? Twenty times the following that whatever that venue's capacity has. To, to, really, to really do a show that you want to, and, and again, I know you would have a Foex. He would be one of your five, correct, right now? I don't know. He might. I mean, if he, he would, was, Foex know. has, let's say the capacity of a building is 1,000. Yeah, uh-huh. He has, we know he has 20,000 followers. So okay. my point is, is I don't know necessarily if the exposure thing happens unless yeah. it's live streamed and really pushed out to a broader market outside of Central Florida. Well, also too, like even, that's what recap videos and everything like that, regardless of even when, you know, everybody, I'm saying everybody can't fit in the venue. But, then we're but when you post it on your social media page and it has. Right, but now we're depending, <laughs> now we're depending, that's a whole different ball game. Now, the, now. What I'm saying, that, 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 that comes but, with it. I'm not saying that's what we're going with. Like, no, oh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But now all, my only point to that is that's mm -hmm. no longer the show doing that. That's social media. But on everything with social media, like even in general, if you posted and said fourth quarter and QC Media is having a show, it'd be like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Compared to somebody saying one artist and two artists doing a show. It'd be like, y'all social media influence in y'all platform is bigger than a lot of these rappers type of situation. So you have to add that into the vibe. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I was saying it would be a whole thing. So I'm talking about like from the exposure. Then also, too, where... Artists need to expand, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can be somebody in Tampa and nobody in Orlando and somebody in Orlando and nobody in Tampa. I agree with and that. And it shouldn't be like that, like, that far off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even in general, where somebody here, like, oh, name an artist in Jacksonville. You can, okay, you can name your different artists or right? blah, blah. There's some people in Tampa, like, name some artists in Orlando, be like, um, I fucking know. Like, uh, same thing in Tampa. So you can say, you know, vice versa. So, since we already, you know what I'm saying, the ones, we ain't gatekeepers, we the ones who control the motion. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like certain things kind of come into play. Now, we can make it make sense in all every different way possible. Yeah, you know that's ultimately goal number one for me, making it make sense. Of course. There ain't nobody doing make sense. Like, it no, and that, 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 that has nothing no, to no, do I'm saying, with I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm a saying, monetary it, it, thing. No, I'm saying, in general, it got to make sense. Yeah. Even the look got to make sense. It got to be the right artist got to make sense. It got to be the flow got to make sense. Everything got to make sense because you're putting your brand on something that like, okay, I really don't got to do this, but... For the quote unquote culture or whatever you're saying, I think it makes sense. Hey, yeah. What's up? I'm looking forward to y'all doing that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's so crazy, right? I have to crazy, retract bro. my cut and restatement because he's not bigger than Dochi. So Dochi is bigger than Cut and Reese right now. So Do Tampa's uh, back Do on top. Uh, um, yeah, she, 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 I'm surprised she you ain't throw your, your, your uh, ace card out. Who, Tyler? I mean, Tyler might be bigger yeah. than Dochi. The, I don't know though. Tyler's in a different world than than I get to really see. Yeah. So to be honest, know. though, I feel like they kind of they might be the same. Kind of, but I also think they're kind of in the same tier. Yeah. Like as far as even like their music, like it's different. Mm -hmm. I think Tyler's more established. He's been around longer. But yeah, mm -hmm. similar. Yeah, Tyler's definitely been in the industry a lot longer. I think mm -hmm. Dochi's been one of those artists though, where like the industry was always aware of her, but never really took a chance on her until a certain point. She's very talented. To. But somebody had to. And that's the only reason why I like Kendrick Lamar, to be honest, because they did. Yeah, I mean, you know. Other than that, he's a bitch. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't think Kendrick had anything to do with that, because if Kendrick had anything to do with it, he would have gave her a verse. Um, okay, so you're right. I take did. back my so statement. I think and you're that still was a bitch. more so top. I mean, she went viral um, on TikTok, and yeah. from there it was a rap. But before that, she had, like, really dope music. And so, yeah, I mean, it was only a matter of time for her. But, but even, Okay, but, like, even after her, like, who would you say, like, Cause I, cause I ain't like, and, and this is not me being funny because there's a lot of talented artists in Tampa. It's got to be famous boy Charles. <laughs> I'm not mentioning that boy on him. No, you're right. It's term. I'm not mentioning neither one of the boys. No, on Shout out to both, of, both them. of them. I'm just glad they're free right now because they, they enjoy jail. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, we got a lot in Tampa. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's so many different scenes. Like, we got a dude named Quita Artist. Um, and I'm talking about like 
people that have mainstream yeah. appeal. Like I'm not even talking about like just on a street level. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Who for the sure. artist is hard. Um, Monet <laughs> Marlowe is hard. Mm -hmm. um, we got a good. Well, she sings though. A girl named Amaria, but I, I wanted to mention her anyway because she's just finished doing a tour with a uh, dude named Destin Conrad, R&B okay. singer. Okay. So I mean, we got a lot of people that have motion, and yeah. then of course you talk about producers like the dude that produced Boss, Boss Man D-Lo's Get In with Me. Dante, he uh, Dante made it. He only seventeen. He's still yeah. in high school. That's and lit. shout out you, shout my boy out, man. Come on now, you know who that boy on them keys now. Come on, my, now. my boy Chris O. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, we got plaques, man. Like yeah. like Dante went gold. Chris O got plaques. Um, shit, K Hendrix did Hot Boys. Um, don't need time, so mm -hmm. he went platinum with that. Mm -hmm. Jit Fay got his. DJ Swift and did so many tracks. That's with a NBA tough resume Boy. for Orlando to beat. Um, like we got producers. Like that's what that's what they always get at me about. They like, bro, yeah. like you gotta show the producer. Like, I'm like, I just don't know how to really, you know, because like if you do a producer list, like there's gonna be like somebody that you just didn't even know was Produce from something. Tampa. Yeah. That hey, producer, you know, like I need them to help yeah, me yeah. out, but I do try to show love and shine a light on them when I can, cause but they already living, bro. Like I said, yeah. Swift got so many hits with Young Boy and them, like, yeah. like you already out of here. You got songs, you got songs with YB. Niggas got songs with Kodak. Mm -hmm. Dante got the, like the number one song in the streets right now, like. Like y'all boys yeah. already winning, so yeah. But that's on one thing. Market, on that's urban that's one thing too. about him. This nigga, he he, this brother know like the Tampa music scene, like that's a fact. inside and out. Like that's a fact. Oh yeah, yeah. Throw, that's throw. one thing I could never do. Like that's why, I, like he got that part on lock. Yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, too. Well, it, I was, it's, it's but a I just it's got a different, tired of it's it. It's a different meaning. It's a, it's a different because I know what you're about to say, but no, 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 no. no. I'm saying J. Rock, like he. He lives in Tampa. I know. You know what I'm saying? That's so he's. I, I know you're about to go. Yeah, I'm saying. So he lives in Tampa, and he knows. You know what I'm saying? From even on a different side of to like, uh, um, marketing promotion. There's not. The, the, there's the the, the, uh, the the travel. The travel from here to where I live is not long enough for me to lose. No, that's, you no, know that's what, what I mean. I'm saying. saying that's what I'm saying. Well, no, Fourth definitely had a post on Orlando. If that's what you're saying. I just like, stopped. No, 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 no. I'm saying by choice. I'm saying. I'm talking about Jerry. Like you actually like you went to school in Tampa. You know what I'm saying? And then you go to USF? Nigga went to school in Orlando. Bro, I'm talking about he went to USF, bro. Listen, bro. You know what I'm saying? So shout he, out to Jones, shout out to West Orange. Yeah, so I'm saying, but so he went to shout uh, out to Coco. He went, he, the college, you know what I'm saying, the USF thing. Then even during the whole like from when that whole drop era stuff was going on, he was in there. Yeah, got you know one of the saying? biggest yeah. songs in the history of the city, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Niggas Big, doing that booty shaker music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? QC, <laughs> party starters. <laughs> it's my dog birthday. Yeah, it was we ridiculous. had to do to get a hit, brother. But so I'm saying that until all that, to where of course he's gonna he, he gonna know the in, ins and out. You know what I'm saying? Let that Kurt Angle. You know, man. and also too, I said he care. You don't care. It, that's not true. That's such a false narrative. But you don't care. I ain't, I ain't like, you don't care no more. You don't care no more. You don't care no more. You used to care. That was but then true. when they turned their back on you like how they did Drake, then you stopped caring and you suffocated their ass. I'm just gonna look at you. I'm not gonna add. I don't. To this. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna say I don't care because I do care. I, there's two things that made me not care. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. Okay. There's two things that made me not care, though. Yeah. In the sense of, like, I'm, I'm a help, right? But that's not my priority. Straight up. That's what I mean when I say I don't care. Like, I will help. I, I'm not going to reject nothing. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you want to do something, like, we can do it. If it makes sense, it makes sense, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. But as far as me going out my way to, like, boost Orlando, two things transpired. A, an artist that I was working with died of cancer. His name was Slim. I did an interview with him. That shit kind of, I think, I think I called you about that shit. Like that shit really, you know what I mean? Yeah. Told me up as far as like, Rest just being slim, involved man. with the music scene. Cause that's when, and even during the beef era, like niggas was dying that I had messaged and I had yeah. comp, like bang out. Right, mm -hmm. when bang out got killed. Like I was a week away from managing bang out. Yeah. And yeah. I got to, like a week away from, so that, like that kind of turned it off. Yeah, and yeah. then secondly, <coughs> man, these dudes ungrateful, bro. Yeah. Like, you could spend every dollar. You could spend mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of dollars to try to boost somebody's career. Yeah. Some of these dudes don't have the common sense to just not go to jail. Imagine all you had to do to get paid was not go to jail. <laughs> yeah, that's That's crazy. all you had to do. And, and, and you'll be fine. But then, you're right, you, you go to, you know what I mean? And... Y'all get what I'm getting yeah, at. It's a lot, a whole yeah, yeah, lot of, yeah, 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 and, yeah. and it's not just one. It's, it's a most, and I've heard that many times within yeah, the industry. Yeah, it's a lot. And I don't got time for that. I got my own kids. I ain't trying to play with y'all. 
I don't need to. I don't need to raise a twenty-six-year-old rapper. I ain't got time for that. Yeah. Now, I gotta commend them for that because that's something I don't do. Like I don't yeah. like not saying I won't ever manage an artist. I won't ever like get hands on with them, but. I'm not at that point right now and what I'm doing with the platform and other things, I'm not at that point where I can dedicate that time or yeah. even want to dedicate that time. So I had to give him props for doing it early in the yeah. game. Like he did it early in like yeah. the fourth quarter phase, in my opinion anyway. Yeah. So like to do that, like he definitely cared and he definitely had results. I not mean, fact. I give like he was helping them boys get deals. Like he was and these were artists that we knew about outside of Orlando because of the work he put in, yep. you know, not just on his platform, but, you know, cross-sharing them with other platforms mm -hmm. and just doing the legwork. So, yeah, I, I can't say he don't care or didn't care at any point because he cared more than I did as far as actually <laughs> stepping on in the field and yeah, putting yeah. in the work. Yeah. He did more than I've done. So I had to salute him for that. But, you know, really it's, yeah. it's yeah. tough, you know, managing artists and all of that stuff. It's Man, it's especially uh, ungrateful one. That's oh, yeah. the, the worst part. It's like, a whole different ball yeah, game, bro. Ungrateful is the whole nother... You feel me? Because it's like, yeah. well, what's the point? Yeah, fact. I mean, it, it, it's a really an ultimate waste of time. Yeah. Because if you would have known that that was going to be the outcome, I think everybody in this room would say, well, we would have never did it. Yeah. Nah, if, you know sure. what I mean? So it's like, it just be a waste of time. And ultimately, like, yeah, I care enough to, I'm going to help. Yeah. Like, I, I, there's some young artists right now that I, that I help. I'm not going to say how I help them, but I help them. Like, BBE mm -hmm. BBA Draco. I help him. I see. Yeah, um, yeah, that'd be that'd be dope. That'd what's be the dope. Net, uh? There's an artist. He don't. He need to drop some more. Um, a bang. Like y'all don't even know. Like I, a year and a half ago, I was calling him Orlando's Brent Fires. And if I played y'all song, which I will when we done here, y'all gonna be like, okay, I see it. And this is a year and a half ago mm -hmm. where I was running into him at a gas station in Melbourne. And Shout I'm telling him, Melbourne, man. and he jumping out of a work truck, and I'm telling him, hey, all you got to do is drop. I got you. That real. You feel me? Even artists that are blowed right now that are, that are signed to other people. Come on. You know what I mean? So it just be, it is what it is, but I, you know what I mean? I focus on what I focus on. And the ones who fuck with it, they fuck with it. Too, bro. You know what I'm saying? I commend both of y'all for what y'all do. Because y'all definitely keep everybody um, up to date on the news. You know what I'm saying? If, it, like, if somebody tells me something or something going on and I don't see it from one of y'all pages, I'm like, that shit ain't going on. Cap. Yeah, like, Cap. why? QC or uh, four quarter and post about it, so it ain't, it ain't happen. Cap, nah, that's facts. Yeah, I mean that's what I really read. Like even me personally, I'm on the ground. I'm like, look, go look on the page. All right, yeah. boom. Shit, Demont, the 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 dude who at Demont Sports, he, he sent it to me. He said, I said, I said, I said, I said fourth quarter chap. There I go. I'm trying. To oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he knows. But you know, I've been doing that for a long time. You know what I'm saying? You listen to Ice Spice though, huh? Uh, I don't listen to Ice Spice, but I like her brand. For whatever she, like, what she built from, you know I, don't, what I'm I don't think she needs to drop another song ever again. Her brand is big, bro. That's what I'm saying. She don't have to drop music. So what would she be doing yeah, if she's not dropping? Yeah, music? If she's not dropping. <laughs> let's be real. No, like, no, like, yeah, let's be real. What would she do? I said it earlier. If she got on that fans, but she can still do. But music why do too. that if she's making money making yeah. music? Because it hurts. Does it? My ears. Oh, okay. Like, I just, I don't see the point. Like, in my reason, But it like, ain't for you, though. It's for them little 13-year-old girls. The the, it's for the consumer. It's for the consumer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's my so job good. forces me to listen to Ice Spice. Does it? See, I, don't, I don't listen to a lot of Ice Spice. Yeah. We I got didn't, the same I didn't, job. I didn't say a lot. Okay. I'm about to say we did got you, the same Did job. you listen to this last one? I haven't listened yeah. to the full song. I heard yeah. it on the Twitter. The snippets, right? Exactly. Same. Yeah, so we do, don't do me like that, bro. I'm just, I'm just yeah, saying. Don't do I that, really like listen to it like crazy. that. Don't do that, bro. But I'm looking for. Dang, I'm looking for this tweet. I might have liked it. Man, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get but my point. But niggas would. We would love Ice Spice for the same reason. Yeah. If she never dropped, we would love her for the same as that reason. That little booty twerk. Exactly. Nothing would change. We wouldn't like her less. But it, the music. Comes the music with does it. not make us like her more. But the music comes with it. It's, it's, the, it's the it's the you'll gateway. It. It's the train. If she never drops it again, you'll miss it, bro. But I mean, you know for I a fact, you know, the, bro, and, and she even like the marketing is to where people know they're saying. You think you the shit? That shit was so bad. And bitches know it. <laughs> that though. shit was so bad, bro. But it's crazy, like so bad. But like, put it like this. I think I, I'm gonna just say it. I think she isn't, and this isn't a knock on her. This is just more so. A, a, it sound like a knock. Call it what you want. 
but you can't call the tone back. is kind of down. Yep, yeah, yeah, it is what like it is. It's not a knock on Ice Spice. It's more so a knock on what they're pushing within the music industry. But Ice Spice isn't ratchet I'm saying, enough. I don't think. I, I, I don't. That sound think, crazy. It sounds crazy. I know, but Ice Spice isn't ratchet enough in today's age to where people want to listen to her music like that. I mean, I feel like the demographic that likes the ratchet music may not be what they're shooting for. I think Ice Spice, uh, they're shooting for a certain different demographic up there in New York. That type, I mean, she makes New York she, she, drill she's music. The clean, I feel like she's like the clean version of I don't think she clean. I think she pop bro, Gucci. On, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, different things. Her being at the Knicks games on the front row and they posting about it and different things like the that. Sexy Red with front row at the Damn, Bulls the game. Knicks. The girl was at the Super Bowl with Taylor Swift. That's what that's, I'm saying. That's, 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 that's epic. Now, that's legit. Like, so, I mean, that's she, the same. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Did she need music to get there? Yes. I don't think. Would you know who Ice Spice was if she didn't make music? If she just came out, do you know how many random females there are on Instagram that's dancing and shaking ass? Y'all know who uh, Sarah J is? Yeah. Yeah. That's not the same. It could be. That's my point. It could be. That's my point. I guarantee you, if Ice Spice (laughs) was Sarah J, she wouldn't be at the Super Bowl with Taylor Taylor Swift. At all. With Taylor Swift. She wouldn't have an endorsement with Story. She'd be the Caitlyn Clark of that shit. I mean, now you're gassing. Now you're over whooping because she's not that. He she's said okay. over whooping. I heard okay. you. Damn. Yeah. 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 Heard. That was smooth, bro. I can't even say now you're over whooping. Me and J Main, that's why I get, you know. J Main don't fuck with me. I ain't gonna lie. We exchange some words. Hey, man. That's why like, it's only because you ain't from 63rd, that's right? like my bro, man. I think, I, said, I think that's what I told him, too. Yeah. He had said something to me, and I was like, bro, I'm not from 63rd. How you be fuck. negative to J Main of all people? No, no, no. He's so positive. Positive guy. Nah, bro. It was on some. He bringing it. He bringing it. I don't together. even think Jay Main's ops want to like fuck with him anymore. Yeah. Like he just this was before though. He was like, you know what I mean, Jay Main, Jay Main. Oh okay, before the serial. Yeah, well, oh. way before the serial. Oh okay. okay, so you you was dealing with gangsters. Oh yeah, this was now. October. Right. Two, two, oh, this was 2022. Oh okay. Do y'all remember when he um he had put. Like he had tattooed something, or he said he tattooed something, or not from 63rd or some shit like mm-hmm. that. Or he was just BSing about ending the beef and like Lil Dirk and all them. I got annoyed and I was tripping. I ain't gonna lie, I was tripping. So, J May, if you see this, I, I, I'll accept accountability. I really don't give a damn, but I'm just telling you. Um, he was doing some weird shit. And That's I met, not really the way to do that. It's not. But uh, he, he was doing some weird, like clout chasing on Dirk and like whatever. And I messaged him, and I was like, you being weird, bro, stop. And then he was like, well, it's 5000 to interview me. I said, I don't want to. <laughs> That's like, how the conversation went? Like, from went. that to that? Like, that was the response to that? I literally said, I'm not going to lie, you weird as hell. He said, 5000 for an interview with my weird ass. Tap in. I said, I didn't ask you about an interview. He said, well, that's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> I like J-Man, man. Yeah, you know, I said, that's I couldn't eat. Negative, bro. Shit was weird. I'm not a fan of cloud chasing, bro. And I and I, I was man, wrong though for that messaging was, that him. Was, that was really I was going to say, did y'all have any interactions no, before that? No, and that's why I say I was wrong for messaging him. I I literally <laughs> led off with bro. So you went from the fourth quarter TV account and just DM FYBJ man out of the blue to let him know that you felt like he was being weird. It's not my proudest moment. You're not. Bro, I'm gonna pray for you, brother. I'm not gonna read the last two comments, but <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, he said. Uh, he said, "When you see me, show me." And I, I, I replied, "Come to Florida." I said I wasn't going to. Read I said the it. Last fuck two. it. J man, I fuck with you though. That's how crazy how beef like starts. Just like yeah, I, and that's the thing nothing. though. Like, I know I was wrong. They didn't know that each other existed like five minutes before that. And well, I was wrong. Five minutes before that. That was tweet. 2022, bro. I was way younger. That was I was like 25. It took 30 minutes for them to get to the point where it was, okay, well, when you see me, show me. So we went from, I don't know who this is, to like, just go ahead and kill me, nigga. Like, in 30 minutes. I bro, I pray for you, that's how That's how the streets be. Nah, you don't, no, here's the thing, though. I, I appreciate Keep praying for me because I'm never going to say tell somebody. But, bro, like, that was back then, bro. I'm way more mature now. Back, so why do you understand? Send a message and say, bro, you know, I'll trip Yeah, you should send him. You should send FYBJ, man. You gotta be the bigger. Not even, he's not even a bigger person. Let him like, know. You, know, you gotta let like, bro. I wasn't wrong, bro. Cause both of y'all changed your way, so I feel like he will embrace your change. I think you should send him one. Yeah, cause and, and you admitting saying you was in the wrong. It I'm wasn't s- like I'm saying it here. I don't gotta say it there. Just in case, this, bro, that's man, like bro, more that's, personal. That's, that's better, this is bro. for the world. Damn, if he's really trying to get me to damn. All right, bro. You're wrong, bro. This is gonna be a clip right here, bro. 
nigga. Why, all right, hey, look. Uh, hey, hey man, they clapping, right? Deal, man. They clapping. And I'm going to send it, and he going to respond back, nah, nigga, fuck you. And I'm going to be like, bet. And that's all that's going to happen. Watch. Nope. I'm going to say, hey, bro. And I, I'm, I promise you, I'm going to show you, hey, bro, I apologize for how I came at you before. Two years ago. Two years ago. Now, now I ain't no host, so I got to be clear about something, and I'm going to type it. I don't want nothing from you. I just want to let you know I was wrong. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, growth. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know how they say coming from man to man, from blog to blog? Real shit. Yeah, I see it. I'm proud of you, brother. I'm proud of you. But if he do come to Florida and he on that shit, you got to see me when he's... Nah, but you know, you can't be outcome dependent when it comes to life. So you did what you were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. It's in the atmosphere, <sighs> you know, things, it's good, it's done now. It's almost like I, feel like, I feel like we have to end on that, right? Like we did something good for the community. I'm about to help J-Main over whoop it. I don't think I can help him. That nigga signed to Sean Cardney. I can't really do much for him at this point. He kind of let us peak. Hey, I ain't got your man. Huh? Is Sean Carlton Carl, 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 your man? That's a question you got to ask Sean Carlton, brother. I mean, he just posted you the other day. Mm -hmm. did? Yeah, he did? posted you it. Mm -hmm. And he posted BBA Draco song. That was the one he posted. So I don't think if it was an issue, you know, I don't think he'll post Nah, um, I don't, nah, I mean, I'm not going to say, I don't know. He might, he might not. I don't know. I'm, you know, I don't really talk to people like that. And he's, he, I don't know. We ain't never really spoke. Like we, we spoke before, but it ain't mm -hmm. never been like no. Were you in, bro? I'm saying, were you in the wrong? Like how you was doing nah, the wrong? No, 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 no. It wasn't that. It was on. Some, nah, I'm the type like if I respect you, like I ain't gonna lie. I reached out to Sean Carter multiple times, been like, hey, bro, like, shit, I'm at this point in this stage. Like, when did you see a return? I've mm -hmm. messed. I've asked him that. Like, how long did it take him to till he seen a return? For sure. Yeah. Because it'd be times where like, and he'll tell you in our field where you know you might have a slow day. And mm -hmm. shit, your numbers, you might make 6K this month. You might double it next month. And mm -hmm. then you might subtract 10 from it the third month. Mm -hmm. So then you always like, am I at a good place? So you yeah. always got to check your P's and your Q's. Boy, you smacking on them bitches hard, bro. Them bitches fire, bro. Like Louisiana Voodoo or something? Yeah. Them bitches kind of fire, yeah. bro. But now, nah, like, we do. Like, and I think, I think all of us kind of like, most of like people that consider themselves bloggers or people that have an Instagram platform, I'll just say that. I think we have a certain type of, certain level of respect for Sean Cotton and the way he handles his business, the way he runs his platform. Because we see like there's easy ways, there's cheap things you can do when you have a platform of that size where you can just like do whatever. He could turn it into a porn site if you wanted to, like no jumper. But, um, but he doesn't. Like he has a certain level of integrity that he holds up to. And like I think we respect that and just like, Respect the way that he moves and how he's kind of paid the way for like, like you said, like you can be like, all right. And then like even the transition into the YouTube and stuff like that. It's like, OK, when should I do this? How should I do this? Because that's where I'm at now. Like I'm getting to the point I say when I get to 100,000 followers, I'm going like, OK, I'm going to start doing the YouTube and shit like that. So it's like I'll be leaning on him. I'll be leaning on Dwayne. Be like, OK, well, this, that, that, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's always good to have people, you know, that have done something before. You want to teach one? Yep. And that's how you keep the thing rolling. What they say, it take a village. It take a village, ain't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, as long as niggas don't be trying to, you know, keep the sauce to themselves. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause Cause you, know, you can have your no, no, you can have like your uh, uh, no complex, and you can have um, your well, what's another big platform? QC Media. He gonna have it. He gonna he gonna have the biggest QC Media. You know, and it takes have it. You can do however you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying yeah. exactly, and then it doesn't take away from. And there ain't nobody bigger than iPhone Chapman. Hey man, I'm just proud to be friends with QC Media in fourth quarter, brother. Now you doing your thing, Tell brother. Me. Like you definitely like I'm waiting to see what this next move is gonna be in the city. Like, cause mm -hmm. you know you, you, finna, you know you're gonna drop eyes. a list, nigga. For you you talking about? But I'm talking about beyond the list. Like mm -hmm. I know, like I know one thing about Chapman. He got a vision and he understands like he's got a bigger purpose than just doing lists. Yeah, and that's just phase one. Chat uh, so, to bring an award show to the city. You know, like he really disguised yeah. the limit with him. So I'm excited. And like I said, I don't have a problem with, you know, that's my guy, man. We used to go to the club together, all types right, of all shit. All types so, of right. Like, Chap used to throw money at them hoes, huh? Nah, that, nah that was nah, one thing seen, I say. We was definitely the ones that wasn't going to You ain't never seen Chat pay for pussy? Nah, nah, mm -hmm. we ain't have to where we was at. Bro, we was hey, at bro. When I was oh, y'all was at La Palace. Nah, no, we weren't doing no strip clubs, bro. Like, I don't do the strip clubs. I, I, yeah, I'm not. Y'all was by Salem's. 
Nah, we was no, right bro. there where you was at, bro. We same be, space, same, and, 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 same and, and, exact club you was in. I ain't gonna you know, name it. The bro. same one? Yeah, same. Club. Oh yeah, I ain't throw no money in that bitch either. I sat on the motherfucker. Hey, you saw what we was at. <laughs> you ain't have to throw no money. You saw the third floor how it was getting in. Crazy thing, I used to work there, bro. Oh, you a club dude? That's lit. And I, I don't say that negative. You know, no, I'm, I'm saying, saying like that, that, that was literally my first like my first job. We're even into the club. I always tip my cap to club people, bro, because like that's some. You gotta a you gotta have the right personality to do that shit, mm -hmm. and b like that's some nigga. I be I be dead tired. Hey, I'm talking about, but this is young. I'm talking about, bro. I'm 18, 19. Like, that where you was meeting all the cougars? I know it. No, it wasn't Cougarville. No, it wasn't Cougarville. You said it wasn't Cougarville. No. Hey, but it's a female that I, I have been looking for for a long time. You know what I'm saying, bro? Um, Cause just of, of our friendship. Uh. I don't know, Cassie. Where, where, where you at, Cassie? You know what I'm saying? You're talking what about the it? one that used to be with Diddy? No, no, no. It's the, uh, the white girl from Tampa. Her name is Cassie. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. Oh, fuck you, been at Cassie. I'm been, been looking for you. Yeah, she from Tampa. It's way too late, my brother. Oh, no, no. Not like on that time. <laughs> not that time. I'm talking about, she was really like, my homegirl, she was cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it was just like, damn, I ain't seen Cassie. Like, where the fuck? If Cassie hit you up, what would you, like, how would that conversation go? Shit, what's up? How you been? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, you try to link. But yeah, like we it's like really a friendship. Like I really it, fuck with Cassie. You gonna let a kid sit in the living room? Huh? Crazy, crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. <laughs> what, bro? Freaky ass nigga, you a 69 guy. I, to be honest, I, oh yeah, I meant this is my last comedy, we gonna wrap it up. I never really understood, like, is that really a bad thing to be a freaky nigga? Like, is that bad? Bro, it's what he's saying though. Like he ain't just saying like he's saying like oh like that. Like And is 69 and like that frowned upon to where you can make a whole diss song about it? <laughs> no, brother. Like niggas a little too grown to be doing the six nines nowadays, but I mean, I wouldn't call it a disrespectful thing. I don't, I don't think it's a disrespectful thing to call a nigga a freaking nigga. But it might be disrespectful for a nigga to call you a freaking nigga. Like that's not really. I don't want another dude to call me that. But you know, and, 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 and what he's saying, he's saying like, on like you know, you know, like, like you know, have that Diddy shit. Yeah. Like that's what it's, that's what it kind of sound like. Oh, you talking about like man? You know. But at the end of the day, Kendrick's not a cool guy. He's not the cool guy. So that's where we're at with this beef. A, a nigga that's not a cool nigga. About. Is making the rules of the beef, and now yeah. it's a whole bunch of people. Yeah. Like, if you don't listen to Drake at all, you're not cool. I don't he, care who Kendrick you are. Can you remind me of them niggas that wear the small beanie caps? The little ones that go right here and they show like a little bit of their forehead, hey Ryan, but the wrapper around right there, yeah. he one of them yamaka ass niggas, bro. Yeah, so, Crazy. so that's where I'm at with it. Like, I, I salute Kendrick for those strategy and how he went about everything. Like, you did your thing with that, but like, if you a fan and you only listen to Kendrick Lamar, you don't listen to Drake, we don't have anything to oh, talk yeah. about yeah, when it comes to music. I hate y'all. Because I'm going to get in my car and listen to Drake on my way home tonight. Y'all the worst type of people, like the ones that do that. Yeah. But yeah. I, I told you, I had a nigga tell me that Drake diss was bad, but Rick Ross's was good. And I'm like, we can't yeah. even have a valid conversation. I now. don't debate with them. Like, it's you been can't. People, bro, it's Kendrick Lamar fans that have niggas been talking checked codes, in, bro. punched in the clock on Twitter for 96 straight hours. Ebony Prince. But, bro, I'm not about to tweet with you about about another man for no four days, bro. Yeah. That's that Ebony Prince account, bro. Like that's some weird nigga shit. Like, I know you I'm seen that shit on Twitter. Boys. You, you Prince. seen that on Twitter? The Ebony Prince. I saw it. They yeah. done, de oh, they done some... deleted it now. Oh, bro, you y'all, hey, y'all two, get on Twitter, bro. It's some, it's some. He'll tell you, bro. It's some wild shit going on. Some wild conspiracy and theories and like shit going on right now within this Drake Kendrick jump, bro. Uh -huh. Y'all get y'all ass on Twitter, man. I'm telling y'all. Hey, but, man, shout out Elon Musk, man. Man, he all right. You fix AI though. But nah, man, shout out to shout out to my boy J Rod, man. Go ahead and tell everybody where to follow you at, all your socials and all that good stuff right there, man. Don't follow my personal. Um, <laughs> 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 now you can follow QC Media with three underscores um, on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow J Rod813. We we talk about a lot of sports and you know, music, whatever, life on there. So those are the main things. We got the TikTok QC Media too, but just follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Chap, go ahead, bro. Hey, man, you can definitely follow me at I4 Chapman, uh, the new Rush Orlando page on Instagram. And, hey, man, we got a whole bunch of different kind of vibes going on. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, follow Too Real For You podcast. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're going to keep this thing cooking. We're going to keep this thing going. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Hot Network Media, man. Nah, facts. Make sure y'all follow me. Um, if y'all follow me, you know where it's at. Ryan, shout out to you. They not like us. I'm telling you, shout out to our people <laughs> over at The Strongest, man. Yeah. And shout out our people over at Fogger. We rocking with y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment and go, go click them links and go follow all of us. And we out. Yes, sir.